Alright guys, welcome back for another edition of Night Time. Uh, good legends on here tonight. Jazz, welcome back, mate. Thank you. Good to be back. Good to be back. Mm, missed us? I did. Yeah. What, Sat even, at home and just twiddled me thumbs. Even Corey? No. Uh -huh. oh. I went to a different hospital, thank God. Uh, <laughs> you, went to the eye, you went to the eye hospital. Mm. I did. Anyway. <laughs> Ever beautiful crazy lady, how are you? Fantastic. Of course you are. You married to me. You. What else do you want? <laughs> Adam, down there in the end, mate. Hey, Smitter, how are you, man? Good champion. Yeah, good to have you back. Yeah, you too. Hello, guys. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Missed you last week. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you kept your seat warm. I certainly did. It's still warm. <laughs> and our resident boat ram boy, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you? Not as good as you, by sounds of it, but no, nah, good, mate. But before we start... Um, Tonight's show, um, we want to dedicate to the young fella, um, Jack, um, who lost his life, unfortunately, to a house fire. Um, mm. Terrible, terrible news, and we actually know the, the father of the young fella, so, um, yeah. Mm. We're devastating. Just absolutely devastating. Just trying to keep warm, and a freak accident like that happened, so, um, yeah, to the family, and, um, yeah, we send our condolences and... Feel for him. Yeah, mm. um, I know there's not probably much we can do to make it better, but if there's anything we can do... Um, we'll pop the GoFundMe on the, the our page. Yeah, um, yeah we'll, we'll look at maybe giving them something. We'll figure something out anyway. Um, but yeah, tonight shows um, in dedication to that poor young fella. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Not good. No. Nah. Anyway, guys, let's uh, move on and um, NRL News. Australia has officially been announced as the host nation for the 2026 Rugby League World Cup. I think it will be the most competitive World Cup that has ever been for men and women too, said Kangaroos coach Mal Meninga. Hmm. Interesting. John Bateman and Benji Marshall were involved in an argument following the Rabbitohs' loss, which is a key reason why John has been moved on to England for the rest of this year. Yeah, I, I, I it was something to do with the senior players were getting treated wrongly by Benji, and he was letting the juniors do whatever they want pretty much, was what the room was, and apparently Bateman stuck up for him, and being Bateman, the bit of the hothead had a go at him, so, I mean, if this is the case, maybe Benji, is Benji the, the right man for the job? Not if he's doing that, no. Hmm. Mm. Ryan Pappenhausen and the Storm are reportedly in talks to extend his contract past 2025. The negotiations are said to be moving smoothly. Yeah, I expect him to stay, but I think Jonah Pezzett could be on the way out to keep, to be able to keep the likes of Pappenhausen and um, Co. There, they might have to lose him, and could be headed back to the Hunter. He'd mm. be a good pick up for his if he is. Yeah, well, so, to be honest, up until, you know, the last 12 months, who who really was Jonah Peasant? Yeah. And, you know, he's come on leaps and bounds. So, I mean, you look at the, the issues we've got this, uh, again, this week we've chopped and changed our, our halves combination, so could he fit, be a good fit with Gamble? Um, I also, uh, he could fit, but you, if we don't keep Gamble in there, we push Gamble up to 13, Will Price, Peasant, Pierre it's a good, good young combination. Mm, We've got to be so. at four or five, almost near the end of contract. So mm. I know they're sort of just... Nelson, the Safa Solomana? Staying yeah, with the Storm, I staying. think he'll stay. Mm. I think he will stay, but I think, yeah, I reckon we'll probably lose two, maybe three. There was talks of him leaving, wasn't it, at one stage? Yes, yeah. it was. 
But you'd be silly to let him go, to be honest. I reckon you're good in blue and gold. I Anyone would because mate. you're losing so many. <laughs> A NASA confirmed Storm are trying to upgrade Jonah Pezzett's, P- Pezzett amid Knight's interest. Mm. Trying to, but can they fit under the cap? It's going to be the big question. Mm. <coughs> the Dolphins are reportedly next to no chance of re signing Tavita Pangai Jr. past this season. He's expected to sign with the Rabbitohs from 2025 onwards. Well, Stevie Wonder could see that happening. It's already written, isn't it? It's probably been a done deal for six weeks. Mm. <laughs> and some. <laughs> mm. Harry Grant believes Jerome Hughes should be in the conversation for the NRL's best halfback. Personally, I'd put him right up there. He's got so many threats in his to his game, Harry said. True. I, I, I you know, I think he's very underrated, probably half. Um, maybe. Uh, I like Reynolds, but I'm not sure Reynolds is up there anymore. Um, I'd say probably Cleary, Moses, um, and, and then Hughes. Uh, but Hughes is slowly closing the gap. Could be a golden boot winner one day. Well, he does all the... I think he's a very... does, a, you know, more of a quiet achiever half. Um, but he's certainly up there in the top five, I, I think, in the NRL. But, um, yeah, I'd put him at close behind uh, Moses uh, and... Yeah. Adam um, Reynolds, he's still carrying injuries, isn't he? Yeah, I... Reynolds, let's let's be, you know, Reynolds is a great player. Has offered a lot for over the years, but he's just getting old. I think he, he's well, getting one, old. One more year, we'll probably see him out. I reckon. Yep. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> what you? One more year, and we'll see you out. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit harsh. Maybe. Huh. We'll see what the contract brings. All oh, right. right. So you want an upgrade of pay? Mm. Yes. Oh, now I've got you. You get paid. No, you get paid. No. Okay. I'll give you an eye for an eye. <laughs> No, no, I know what eye you want. <laughs> Stafford Toa suffered a hamstring injury on the weekend mm. and he's expected to miss a few weeks. Is it just me or every season that passes there's like syndesmosis one year mm. and then say hamstrings the next year? It's like it's a common theme. But he's only just come back. Is it a case of come back too early? Possibly. A lot of players, Sometimes. you know, a lot, even um, punter, Tyson Gamble. You know, he's got a foot injury again. He's only played one week. Is it a case of come back too early? Hope not. The Roosters have reportedly re-signed Spencer Lenu on a three-year extension worth roughly $800,000 per season. Why well, you turn your nose up on that one, Spitter? Where's the rest of the money coming from? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's brown oh. paper bags. No one's going to get their hands on Spencer ever again. No. Uh, he's, yeah. he's a rooster now. Yep. And that's Even if I'm, he doesn't like it, he'll mm. stay there. But love him or hate the Roosters, you watch the Roosters now, don't you? To watch yep. Spencer play. Yep. Uh, they're going to attract more fans to the club. Well, they've got to do it somehow. Jason Taumalolo suffered a suspected cheekbone fracture and is expected to miss three to five weeks. Uh, on the Cowboys, I'm going to try and somehow get him out of my contract because he has not lived up to the price tag no. he's got. No, it's at 27 in any contract. Oh, yeah, they're going to have to pay a lot of money if someone picks him up. But who's going to pick him up, mm. realistically? Super Anyone in the NRL? Probably Super League for me. Mm. What was it, 10 years, $1 million a year? Yeah. Uh, he's not a million-dollar player. How many has no. he played? For, how many years has he played in his contract for that 10 years? I think it was 28, 2028 mm. or 2029. So, or so pretty like much... You know, a, for, a forward getting that kind of money is yeah, obscene. Yeah. So you're telling me that he's as good as James Fisher-Harris? He was once. Yeah, on his day, yeah. Um, a long, long fish, time ago. Fish he's had a, he's had a few... The That's right. He's had a lot of injuries lately. But I don't think any player's worth over a million dollars a year. No, no, no. None. Hence why I said contract, one mm. to two years, that's it. Anyway... It is reported Daniel Saifidi isn't disappointed the Knights have asked him to move on. He feels he ca- his career needs a refresh somewhere else. Mitch Barnett. That's all I'll say. That's, he's good mates with Barney. He's seen how Barney's caught out of Newcastle yeah. going somewhere else. And realistically, it could happen. What about Josh King? Well, there's another one. But King, he was still always playing constant football at the Knights, but he's just going that extra, extra level. level. It is believed the Raiders won't stand in the way of Corey Horsborough if he requests a release from the club. Reports suggest the Dragons may be interested in his signature. I like the big ginger cat. 
Honestly. I reckon it'd be a good asset for us. Mm-hmm. Anyone would um, be a good asset for, for mm-hmm. George. Well, to you be should, honest... You should talk cash. Adam? He'd probably look good in red, uh, blue and yellow. And red hair? It'd go good. Mm-hmm. You like your red heads? I do. <laughs> Dean Marin, I suffered a knee injury on the weekend. Kevin Walters said they do not expect the injury to be too serious. Mm. He went off, he got carried off, so it looks serious to me, but um, would you risk him if he was, because I reckon they're gone for the year. You know, yeah. they've got to win every single game. Um, yeah, their draws. It's not going to happen. Their draws, Titans, Cowboys, Dolphins, and Melbourne to finish. Or well, Melbourne will do them, and I reckon the Titans will probably do them. And I wouldn't be uh, the t- the. Yeah, and even the Dolphins. So I don't think they're going to win probably half their games they've got left, um, to be honest. See ya. Depending um, injuries. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't think there's something not right. They've gone from grand finals yeah. to not even make the finals. Like, we haven't picked wrong? at the beginning of the year, didn't we? Well. In the top four. Hmm, on their form last year, you would have thought that. But like, is it a case of Penrith Panthers second year syndrome again? Do you think it's Cavi? Could be. Um, or is it a case of uh, egos? I was about to say, too many heads up bumps. Yeah. I, know, I know, I heard that the assistant, Lee Breeze, which is the pommy guy, he's going back home and Trent Barrett's going to be the assistant. Oh, well, I won't read that one out then. Oh, sorry. Well, they're buggered now. <laughs> <laughs> read it out anyway. <laughs> Next, please. Sorry, Kylie. <laughs> We're about to get a flogging. <laughs> Trent Barrett has reportedly <laughs> met with the Broncos and is expected to join them as assistant coach next season. Thanks, Corey. Oh, that's old news. <laughs> <laughs> did you read Style. the report, did you? <laughs> no. i got good ears. Once the so NRL cool. is expanded to 20 teams, every team will face each other once in the regular season. Origin will be played during a mid-season break or post-season. A regular international series will also be played post-season. Now, the only problem I've got with that is... Mm. Home team advantage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, is there ever like a it. right time for it to play this? And the only problem with that too is, okay, not everyone can afford to travel to see teams. So, okay, we'll just use here for example. So I, if I can't afford to go to Penrith to watch Penrith play, but I live in the Hunter and they don't play the Knights this year, so I don't get the same. That's my issue. 100%. Um... I know if it goes to 20 teams, you probably can't play 40 games a season. But mm. no, it won't be happening. I think there'll be two tiers. No, they well, don't at work the moment, we only play the Knights once. Mm. But that don't, the whole two tiers, that, that, to me, that's bullshit. That, that don't work either. Mm. Because you're going to have a split competition. It, it just doesn't work. You need to stop at a certain number and say, that's it yeah. for now. Because you just create more issues. Like, what are you going to have? Yeah, I, to me, it's just opening a can of worms that you can't fix. The Cowboys have told Valentine Holmes he's a, he's free to negotiate with other clubs and leave. The Dragons have identified him as their replacement for Zach Lomax and are set to pounce. He wants big money, but too, and I don't think he's worth that anymore. He's on nine hundred thousand. No. In his prime, yeah, but not now. Well, he's just playing centre still, yeah. so. Yeah. What's Crichton on a year? What's Bradman Best on a year? So you're saying he's in that category still? I don't think so. Maybe six, but I just think the nine hundred thousand, whatever he's on, it's not. It's not well, the Cowboys of, I think he's got another year to run too. Mm. So it'd, it'd come down to how much. Freight. But there's a reason why the Cowboys are getting rid of him yeah, or letting him go. This because is a salary cap. Well, not just that because getting too old. Yeah, like even it was was it last week week four he missed all in goals mm. like in his day. Great, but if he does come to Dragons, I reckon Flanagan will put him on the wing. Mm. The good thing is you can play wing, fullback, centre. Yeah. Mm, true, good goal. And he's a good goal kicker. He is a good. Yes, I just don't think he's worth that kind of money. We need a goal kicker when we play come. Okay, when you look at Crichton, Crichton's a goal kicker. Just his presence on the team and what he also does is worth that kind of money. Valentine Holmes is not up in that category. No. Alex Johnston suffered an Achilles injury and is set to be sidelined for up to eight months. 
given a chunk of that will be in the off-season. Mm. Well, you won't be breaking the record this year. No, yeah. mm. That's a shame, really. Mm. You know. Yeah, especially on a boat that uh, agreed to play for peanuts, really. Let's yeah, see really, how it's in the morning. You need, what, 16 to break the record? Mm. Probably, probably would have got it. Yeah, we'll two, come close. Two seasons probably now. No, nah, he'll get that next year. 16, you reckon? 16 tries in the season. Mm. Yeah, maybe, him. yeah. I yeah. reckon oh, he probably would have got it this year. If yeah, well, going. he would have got another half a dozen at mm. least this year. Easy. Well, he could yeah. score three in one game. Yeah. Really? And with Bennett going there, with Bennett coming back too, I reckon they'll... Mm. Mm, you're right. I don't like the guy because he's in South. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. I'll tell you that. Yeah, otherwise, he's a brilliant player. I would like to have him. Is there anyone you wouldn't like that? Well, you know, Sivo's sort of gone now. <laughs> Where's he going? Don't know, but he's not going very good at it. Kevin Walters believes the Origin period may have hurt his side against the Bulldogs. Maybe Origin has had a bit of an effect on our boys and we just didn't seem to find our mojo early, and they did, he said. That's him. Hang on. They had their mojo against the Knights. I know mm. the Knights made them look good, but you can't just lose a game like that and blame mm. Origin. But look he was all for it. He was all, oh, we're, we're really good against the Knights. Yeah. Mm. So I said, oh, shit, we've lost our mojo because of Origin this week. Yeah. Excuses. Penrith didn't use that excuse. Sounds so. And they had plenty of players Melbourne. there. Melbourne. Sounds like a bloke they used to coach the Broncos many years ago during Origin period. It's <laughs> Wayne Bennett. Hmm. Like, he used to whinge. I just say, harden the... Um, you're getting paid this money, you should be able to play Origin and then back up for your club. Yeah. If not, jump out, I'll have a go. Yeah. Or have other players suited to... I wouldn't do much, but I'll still take the paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> Blame it on Origin. The Roosters are reportedly close to re-signing Connor Watson on a two-year extension. Of course. As you would. Mm. Broncos, Aneta Claudia Nua, Sa Nua Sala. That's her has been charged twice for a hip drop and striking. She faces a four-game suspension with an early guilty plea. It's half the season for the girl. <laughs> mm. But in her defence, she was, she was defending herself because the Parramatta girls come at her when she was striking her back because there was a tackle that apparently wasn't hurt one of the girls and the other girl sister come in and started throwing haymakers. So what's she supposed to do? Stand there and cop it. It was a clean shot she put on her butt. <laughs> Didn't miss her. You're trying to bag Parramatta, right? No, well, I'm just thinking, like, in that def her defence, hey, what's she supposed to do? If someone's laying, laying them on you, you're not going to sit there and go, I can't hit you because I'm going to get suspended now. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to use, you know. Does anyone realise the women are harder and tougher than what the blokes are? Have you seen the NRL lately? Elsie <laughs> yeah. <LC> Albert? <laughs> or the... Lady that plays for the Broncos in the centres. What's her name? Oh, I don't know her name. But and there's another one that plays for the Raiders. And there's one that plays for Wiki. the Knights. Is that Wiki? Oh, Is that Ruben Wiki. Wiki's girl? No, 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 no. There's another one. I oh, will get back to you with it. But um, That's your homework. Yeah. <laughs> so she's there. Yeah. Did I hear right, too? There was a um, Hopper Wadi? Yes. Yep. Hopper's daughter plays He's... for Manly, was it? Manly? No. Tigers. Is it Tigers? Could be. I'll get. I'll get on to that one. But yeah, he's only got twenty kids playing. Yeah, they're everywhere. And there are another twenty coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Never get him back on again. Yeah, we will. Uh, Michael <coughs> Jennings has been charged with a grade two careless high tackle for his shot on Jason Saab. He has received a two game suspension. Oh, paper bags must have dried up this week. <laughs> Toby Couchman received a two match suspension for a crusher tackle on Maverick Geyer. Hmm, must have missed that one, right? I remember him going on report, but mm, wasn't what I thought Matt Fenai should have been suspended for uh, the hit on uh, Dane Laurie. Well, and even Fish. Oh, well, I know you'll probably get your cranky pants on here, but... Oh, I might get cranky. Uh, <laughs> oh, mate. Well, obviously Fish is out for a month. So yeah, but I... So they have to have been, mm. you know, like, there's got to have been something in that tackle that Well, that obviously was. was yeah. um, so what... And I get they go, oh, boy, he'll be suspended now. I, I don't think he has, or... No, he's, they've only two blokes that got suspended from that game. Everyone else got fine. They just don't get it. And even old mate, that game, he's got suspended. Why didn't they take action on the day? Not that they needed it, but it's just an example. Well, you, that team's getting disadvantaged because that dude had to go off HIA and failed. Well, there has to be some kind of action there on the day because that team's getting the disadvantage. You know what? 
Daniel Tupu signed a two-year extension with the Roosters. That's where the bags went. Put the bag back. Yeah. <laughs> Jerome Luai is now the fastest player to reach 100 NRL wins in the Origin era since 1980. Mm. Well, that's what happens when you're playing a damn good side. Won't happen next year. No. <laughs> Sound like happy goes now. I'm say, right? <laughs> Jerome Luai's younger brother... Calvary, 15, is following in the same junior league and NRL pathways journey as his older brother. St Mary's is the most prolific rugby league nursery in Australia. Jerome on his brother. He is a centre. He's bu- he's a bit like Biz's build, a, tradi- a traditional Samoan build. I didn't get all that muscle. Mm. He's doing well. I think he is going to Harold Matthews next year. What's his space? Mm. If he's anything like his brother, uh, I'd say Penrith would probably... Um, watching him closely now, I'm probably offering him a contract first, and probably Jerome will steer him through that pathway. I reckon. What, just like Jet Cleary? Yeah, but there's something there that's. I reckon Jet Cleary will, will end up back at the Panthers at some yeah. stage. Yes. Jack Bird has been given permission to negotiate with rival clubs for the 2025 season. Fly away. Would you be interested? You're a coach from an NRL rival club. Would you be interested? He's another one to go in by the wayside. Too many injuries. Injury prone. Mm. Unfortunately. His day, Cronulla days, yeah. But I think it might be Super League time for Jack. The Warriors have made history as the first NRL club to sell out every single home game in the regular season. It's an unbelievable achievement and one we are very proud of, said their CEO. They're good on them. Oh, yeah. But, you know, when you've got one team there too, it's a lot easier. It's a, to sell out. Yeah. Mm. The uh, crowd's going to be disappointed, but when we beat them. <laughs> He's going to win another game this year. Yeah. <laughs> or next year. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be lucky to win a chook raffle. <laughs> <laughs> and I've saved the best news to last. Penrith Panthers enter the Harvey Norman New South Wales uh, women's competition for 2025. It's about time. It's about the same. And then after that, they'll be back in the... Um, so I reckon after that, they'll be in the NRLW after that. So, yeah. They should be new, straight away. They should be going straight back yeah. into it, I reckon. They've got the numbers. They've got the girls That's there. It's a start. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, throw them in there. We need more women's teams. Well, Every club needs a women's team. Right. Mm. And yeah. when you travel, you take your reserve grade and your women's team. Yep. So when we go down to Penrith this week, we take our women's and our reserve grade and our first grade team. Yep. Mm. And we probably put our women's in to play Penrith and might have a better chance. That will probably going forward in the future. Well, it needs to be done now. What are you waiting on? This is the thing. You, they want you to be boss. Well, get me in there. Because they want <laughs> the um, NRL to, to grow yeah. and... You know, it, let's be honest, it's a business. You're going to sell out crowds every week mm. because look at the Knights. The Knights get the biggest crowds, well, one of the biggest crowds in the NRL this year. Well, all the time. The NRL W, they, were not, they had no one. They're, and there's a couple of weeks' time where we're at home and we play the NRL W. They got the NRL W on after the men's game. Mm. At late, later in the night, on a Sunday night, mm. people have to work in a row. Wake the f up, yeah. put it on before the men's, and put the men's after. Yeah. Or you know, people got to work. It's, it suits the unemployed. Let's be real. Just suits Chris. Anyway, <laughs> was that ever it? No, mm. res- no response from Chris. Mm. Hey, crazy lady, where's Tyo going? He's not. He's not going nowhere. <laughs> Oh, I nature left that one out. <laughs> no, <coughs> that ruined my day, thank you. <laughs> a lot of game in red and blue. Imagine Marju on one wing and him on the mm. other. Dreams are free. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll take a short break and be back shortly. Hi, Dean. Tamika Upton here. Just wishing you a happy birthday. Thanks for all the support. All right, guys. Welcome back. And it's, We're going to do it. Um... In the words of Corey, ask oh, about first this week. So um, we're going to do what caught my eye. Oh, my eye! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> the first one we have is, I'll start off. We've got first picture there. Remember the, in Paris? They had the, um, if you look in the background, who we got? There? Oh, my Lord. We got the drag queens. But if you look closely in the background, who's there in the? It's the boat ram guy. Other than himself, Corey. So you were missing. You were in Paris. I was. So, um, yeah. 
that was my first what caught my eye, Corey and the Dragons. I like the it? outfit of what too. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, we're moving on to uh, the next one, which uh, there's another one of him there. Go through to the next one. Close up to Corey. Yeah. He's got some muscles. Very <laughs> Tommy. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction there, but um, <laughs> yeah, that I'm was on a, fire. <laughs> Yeah, oh, mate. Anyway, the next, well, what caught my eye was Caitlin Johnson ragdolled by the, uh, she ragdolled that um, rooster. Rooster, the 5'8", I think it was. Um, yeah, did you see that for Taranakan? The Taranakan, is it? The Taranakan might have been, yeah. But, yeah, they were my two, but I thought the Paris Olympic one was the one that caught probably most of our eyes. Caught a lot of the... Uh, I, I, I just got back today, too, for the, from Paris. looked a bit jet-lagged. Yeah. His hairstyle looks the same. Yeah, it would be weird. Yeah. Yeah. Very, your yeah. hair's very what stiff the, too. I wouldn't. Touch I'd say it. that wasn't the only thing. <laughs> don't, don't touch it, Adam. Whatever you do, don't touch it. <laughs> you went in the river too, there over there. <laughs> Carl, I was at the beach volleyball. <laughs> Cor Lotta. What about Mary? Cor Lotta. Mm. You mean Carl Lotta? No, Corey. Yeah. Oh. Cor Lotta or mm. Corina. Anyway, what we'll caught your eye? <laughs> Guess we'll go and ask about, won't we? Yeah. So I usually go first. So yeah, well, I went first. So. Uh, okay. I'll go next. Stop asking questions. Just do it. <laughs> Shut up. You're only, you're only a beginner here. <laughs> what caught my eye? Who put this on here anyway? Could have had something about Parramatta. Munster playing like he doesn't need a hip surgery at the end of the season. Mm. That's right. Playing well. Uh, Too well, actually. <laughs> in your response to about Parramatta, is there anything that catches your eye with Parramatta at the moment? Yes. No. The way they played. They yeah. had them topsy yeah. turvy. They did for the first 10, 15 minutes, I must admit. Half they ran an hour. out of steam. But just showed how good the storm are. So we'll they had to send a player off and they uh, just wore us down after that. That's what I'm going with. I'm doing a Kevy Walters. Lots of excuses. <laughs> Riley. Uh, I've got two because I can. Mm. The first one is on a couple of Facebook pages and groups, there were pictures posted of some of the female NRL players. And there were some pretty woeful comments from, mm. and I use this term loosely, men. I won't repeat them, but they were disgusting, so be better. hundred percent. You know, if that was your daughter or that was your wife, you'd want it blood. So, you know, I'll say it now, and I don't care. I'll swear it's my show. Grow the f- up or get off. Like, keyboard warriors, they're women. They have, you know, have a bit of respect for it. If you don't like it, shut up and scroll on. Yeah. yeah. But that's disgusting. Like, they're ruining the game. Mm. And that's someone's daughter. That's someone's wife. That's someone's sister. Or mother. Some More of mother. them have kids. Put some, put some uh, shorts disgusting. on and get out there and play against them. Mm. No, they'll probably belt them. That's the thing. These women will probably belt that's these. That's what I mean. Yeah. They're not men. Men wouldn't do that. No. You know, they're, they're grubs. Anyway, keep going. Sorry. My second one was Jack Whiten was running back in from the pre-game training before the Raiders versus South game on Sunday, and he ran into the Raiders dressing room instead of his team. I think he forgot what team he played for. Thanks, mm. Kylie. I had that one too. Trust you to think of the toilet. <laughs> Change rooms. Yeah. Change rooms. Group hugs in the showers. <laughs> that was on on the weekend. Yeah. Oh, group hugs? No, the yeah, the Shard was on TV. Oh. I was going to say, Grubugs was that in Paris. Yeah, Grubugs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, the first one, I'm sorry that I swore, but it just drives me insane. Like, we're trying to get the women's game to be equal and not seen as that kind of sh- shit. And you get stupid idiots like that. They just ruin it. Adam. Oh, Corey, have you got another one? Well, besides the idea of like a little bit the boat ramp, like what caught my eye, um, the. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've actually quite all like this, but the Panthers display against the Dragons. I think they're uh, mm. just about to hit full speed, and I think they're going to win. The, I think they're going to win the comp. You oh. weren't saying that on Sunday. Oh. You, well, you hey, 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 I had the shits. Hang yes, on, but hang on, hold the phone. Don't you owe Kylie a bet? Yeah. Yes. That's easy. That was going to get smoothed under the carpet. I feel. No, it wasn't. So what? Yeah. What do you have to do? I don't know. What did we bet? Don't you have to wear a dress to Sydney on the weekend? I don't know. I, tr- I tried hard. to get He's you out of it. looking forward to that. I thought I was wearing a jersey. I no, tried to get no. you out of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Apparently no, no. you've got to wear a dress on the bus 
going down and then a jersey coming oh, back. Oh, that's easy. A micro mini I wait. Oh, nice, nice jersey home or the... Or the Penrith. Uh, Penrith. Penrith. I didn't bet, yeah. Uh, has anyone got an extra Penrith one? I've got an old one in there. He's got one. It'll swim on you, but what sort of dress am I going to wear? Because I'm like Ray Not one that has your giblets hanging out. That's for sure. I want to freaking have time to go and buy G- one. Gaz would have one in his cupboard. <laughs> one. I, I could um I could lend you one, but it might show you bits and pieces. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Well, that mean, does that mean I have to shave? Oh, no, we'll get yeah. one. We'll get shave one. Shave your legs. <laughs> buy your shoes. We'll get one. We'll get one before Sunday. Can we go buy one of them horrible wedding dresses from the op shop? You know how you see them yeah, in the window. Make him wear a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> just married. <laughs> <laughs> Watch his face. I propose to do him. <laughs> <laughs> they can just see him at the edge of the boat room. <laughs> like, like Forrest Gump. So you got to wear that down into the ground and half time. No, no. Half time. Hang can, on, that's ex- that's extending that. No. You're going on the run. It's half on the time, bus. On the bus and bus only. We're not going to a Roosters game. Half, <laughs> it's bus and half bus. time you can change into your jersey. It's bus and bus only. You said bus <laughs> and bus only. You we got. <laughs> Gary would. Yeah. Gary wouldn't take it off. <laughs> you have to cut it off him. <laughs> take all proposals. So all when, right. are you, when are you doing your bet? Oh, I'm open. I'm ready. I don't know. Well, we're going to know. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do one for this weekend as well. It's double or nothing, wouldn't it? No, no, I'll, I'll honour that one because yeah. I lost it, which yeah. is the op shot challenge. And yeah. We'll think of one by the end of the show for me to, to lose this week again. Eyebrows. Wake up to yourself. <laughs> I'm going to shave my eyebrows. The only reason I'll shave anything on my head. Before the shave. <laughs> <laughs> this head, I was talking about. No, 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 no. We'll draw, I'd, draw, I'd, we'll draw them on for you. It would have to. It would take a lot of money, like a fair amount, and it would have to go to a charity, but I'd do me my all. But, I mean, it would take a lot of money. Yeah. So Don't you, look at me. I've got no money. I was just wondering if we could mail all you guys. Not a chance. Yeah. Cold sack. He's got, to, he's got to have something for Parramatta last weekend. Oh, yeah. Anyway. You've got to wait to uh, your sack. friend all, was all, doing the bit, wouldn't you? All jokes aside, yeah. I think Penrith are just about there. Yeah. Oh, they are, without a doubt. It'll be Melbourne and Penrith, <coughs> I reckon. Mm, unless something dramatic, you know, dramatic happens. Dramatic. <laughs> Two words Excuse combined. Me. Yeah, well, you know. So, watch your space. You will be honouring your bet this Sunday. And I will be honouring mine as soon as we get a chance to. Um, and by the end of the show, we'll think of another one for me to lose this weekend. This, Adam, was, this was not going to work out real good. Corey wears the dress. In our bet, he'll just wear the dress over at least my one. No, no, he'll get another one for that. Oh, I'll okay. make sure that it is... The Kylie's miniskirt one, I reckon, for him. No, no, I'll be... I'll be I just w- don't want to tear at it. No, you be I'm getting... Too, s- too fat. You be getting something worse than that. Yeah, I'm going to seriously. F- t- t- what? Repeat that again. What? Because I'm too fat. Oh, he said something else then. <laughs> Adam, I got three. <laughs> Holy! Which eyes? Yeah. <laughs> the first one. The second one's a bit of a, a bit of a drainer. The first one's. Um, so I need a beer for Speak up, I can't Probably. Hear you. First one's 400,000 K raise for Troy July from all the clubs, oh, yeah. both men oh, and wow. women. Well, that was yeah. pretty, pretty good effort. Yeah, yes, it was. Going to. Young Love with the Cancer. Yeah, that And very also well Skin Cancer Foundation. Mm. Second one is we talk about it every week, and this I reckon is getting a bit of a joke. Graham Ennisley definitely needs sacking. Mm-hmm. Ezra Man trips over the ref on the weekend. Bulldogs go on the score. Mm. Should play have been stopped? Was his an- So this is his review on Monday. Should play have been stopped? Any other contact with the ref this year? The play stops, play gets suspended for a week or two. It doesn't matter if it's accidental, whatever. Um, the ref went to the bunker and said, what action do we need? And the bunker said they had poor vision. What a load of horse. Poor Stevie vision. Wonder could see. <laughs> Are you serious? Poor vision. they got 10, what TV they they got 10 v- TVs there. I'm not, what? Wow. I'm not trying to sound racist here, but I'm taking that out because there'd be some people say that I'm picking on him because of it. But is it because it was Ezra Man that they didn't want to take action? If is you, it? If you watch, he's actually cut in front of the ref. Mm. So he knew the ref was there. So he's probably tried going, oh, well, I got taken out, so yeah. I couldn't, you know, to get the try taken off. But they said they had poor vision. They couldn't have. No. Is it because they didn't want to, because it was Ezra Man? Do you reckon they, they didn't want to rule, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just think he maybe gets a little bit favoured. Everyone's equal, mate. That's it. Full stop. 100% it is. And Reese Walsh doesn't. 
Odd. Yeah, what, he does do. How many other players have been suspended this yeah, year? Yeah, my from the Dragon. Um, Will Kennedy, oh, that's two weeks ago. Touched in the shoulder. Oh, he had yeah. a couple of weeks off. Well, he got mm. two weeks, and that was a clear accident. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, mate, that's... Touched our love on the bosom. Remember last yeah. week? <laughs> <laughs> you were looking at Kylie for. You mean the tit? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. He got nothing. Yeah. He got nothing. Oh, he did. He got a smile out of the ref. Yeah. <laughs> but... You know what I mean? And the phone number. <laughs> so if Ezra Mead's obviously fallen over, but then if the ref fell over too, mm. do you think they'd charge him and suspend him? Or? Well, when I take over the NRL like we're talking about, well, well you've got a good job. You sack Annesley. I'll have Annesley's Annesley job. Yeah, Annesley, that's right. Was, Annesley was a shit ref anyway. So he's, he's a shit human. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'll appoint you the person. new referee. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Something's got changed. I agree with that. Like, honestly, yeah. the referees... They're on good money now. It's a, it's a, you know, a professional yeah. job. Bring back old mate. What's the old mate that works for the Tigers now that got sacked for nothing? They got rid of him. Oh, um, um, he's married to uh, Casey Bald yeah. Badger, Gavin What's Badger, Gavin, Gavin Badger. Badger. I thought he was one of the better referees, yeah. and they got rid of him. Yeah, mm, I liked him. He was fair. Yeah. Um, I even look at say, okay, maybe he should be appointed. Yeah. If you weren't getting the job next year, you know, maybe appoint him. Bill Harrigan, would you bring him back? No, do you want to do? Well, he doesn't. Like I listen to what Bill Harrigan says now and then, and he doesn't agree with half the stuff that Ensley puts out. And you just you think they were in the same era of ref and sort of thing. Mm, and, true. And you know, I just I, I like Badger. I yeah. honestly think he could yeah. do he could do well. But I honestly also think there needs to be a bunker um, of more where they're wide up to the ref. Yeah, and they say. All right, Corey's the referee. Oh, Corey, you missed that. Pull it up, mate. Pull it up. Yeah. Psh, pull it up. Uh, yeah, bang, straight away. Because we can see it. If the ref misses it, we've got that technology. Mm. We're missing, you know, yeah. calls that could cost someone a, a win and then a grand final spot right. or whatever. Needs, needs to change. That's they should right. be wide up. Yeah. And, like, from that, Ezra Mann would have tackled the Bulldogs player. Mm. He had him covered. And, of course, he's fallen over from being tripped. Bulldogs going to score, even though they end up flogging him, but... Mm. It just yeah. doesn't make sense. Anyway. The third one is happy birthday, Smitter. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, can you get to is say that? Is it your birthday? Oh, just add you know. oh, in okay. my notes. You forgot? Yeah. Well, yeah, well uh, someone's in trouble. Someone got me two cartons of Little Dragon last night. Yeah. Oh, that was nice of you, Gary. Yeah, well, well, that's four cartons <laughs> there. <laughs> on that note, of all of us on the podcast, we wish you a happy birthday. Hope you've had thank a you. great day today. And uh, we'll, well, um, been spoiled. And everything and will boy. be... Um, yeah, especially for the weekend coming up. Yeah. And, yeah, my young bike too, Cruz. So happy birthday, yeah, buddy. Yeah, happy birthday, yep. Cruz. Happy yep. birthday, mate. Um, yeah, we're both being well looked after, I must admit. So, um, can't complain. And uh, hopefully a win on the weekend. Bullshit. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Family's done all the balloons and everything for you tonight, mate. Yeah, that was yep. nice. Isn't it? There may or may not be a cake in here somewhere. <gasps> cake? Free cake! Free cake! Oh, yum. Anyway, does he get to blow, that, blow the out. candles out? I'll blow out his candle later. That's a big one. Come on, baby. Come <laughs> on, baby. Light my <laughs> fire. Oh, Corey put his hand up straight away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I light the candle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you need me to hold the candle? <laughs> Group bugs in the showers tonight. <laughs> Are you sorting you, Adam? <laughs> anyway, so. Um, yeah, that's what caught our eyes for this week. That's it. So we'll move on to Gaz Bag. Gaz Bag time. This is from Dave Mateo. That's a pretty close, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that Felitti's okay. brother? Hmm. Yes. No. Hmm. What do you think centres don't pass the ball when their wingers are in the clear? Because they're glory hunters. Some do, some don't. Um, I think it's more of a case of they want to, they want the glory of winning oh. the game. Or, yeah. you know. It seems yeah. a few times, don't you? Mm. I, know I, wingers know. Are not, I know wingers are not good at passing on the run. I know a fullback too that doesn't pass. Tedesco. <clears throat> mm. mm. That was my first push. If he passed, maybe be a. Well, he's gone from Origin. He won't come back unless there's an injury to Edwards. Yep. Um, they reckon he's going to be in the uh, Australian side. He wouldn't be in mine. Are you picking it, Gazaya? <laughs> are you what picking the Australian side, are you? 
Let's, uh, let's apparently, let's apparently, uh-huh. apparently, they reckon he would, but I wouldn't be. Yeah, I wouldn't be. No. Who else would you put in? Edwards. Excuse me, Edwards. He's going to be out. Maybe back by then. Sure? Edwards will be back in a matter of two three weeks. Week. Yeah, two three weeks. Who was it that said the injuries and they bring him back too quick? Who was that? Yeah, but it was. Who was it that said they didn't like Origin picking on my players because they get injured? <laughs> you know all about it. But they hurt you, Moses. You, you yep. can't keep They're Edwards out like he's. Yeah, you know he deserves it, and like this is a massive thing for him. Would you have Tedesco in there, but no, in case no. he gets hurt? No, I wouldn't. No, no. Well, the heads there look like the bloody because Maitland you, show. Uh, no, because, because you, I reckon Tom Javoyevich <laughs> or somebody else would take that role. Well, as I fullback. probably wouldn't even have Tom Javoyevich in it really, because where do you put him? So you're going to say Sanders? no? Because that that Fallback? that for me, okay, quickly on this without going off on a tangent. Um, Edwards, Tuttle, Crichton, Bess, <laughs> and. Um, probably Lomax uh, is my my backs. Is Tyler no Cobo? No, no. I thought about Cobo because Cobo probably will be stood down. Yes, a starter. Hmm. Um. So yeah, where do you put Tedesco? And where do you put Travoyevich? He's too in. Travoyevich for me is I oh, know great player, but he's got an injury. Will yeah. Tyler play for Samara? Is that Samara in this? <laughs> oh, no, I'd say he'd probably be Australian in this one. Right. I I could be wrong. Um, and then you get, you're going to have this issue with the halves. Like, who are you going to put in halves and 5-8? I'm sorry, but Jerome Law deserves that 5-8 spot. He won't play half. The problem is, well, Mitch Moses is out for the season, so that makes it easy. Cleary or Slater. Yep. yep. And Daly Cherry Evans will be on the bench. Well, I don't even know if he would make that for mine, either. Well, it did. And... He's a good player. That's he's, probably he's... who would be my 14. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't mean to stick my neck out of it, but yeah, Cherry Evans wouldn't be on. Yeah. Harry Grant be in their mix in there too. Well, starting hooker you probably. You have to be nine. Yeah. You wouldn't put Robson <laughs> But after there. Ben Hunt's performance on the weekend, <laughs> I wouldn't be throwing him anywhere apart from that beach. You want to throw men on the beach? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. That's it. Yeah. We're getting back off off that tangent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's from Matt Jobson. Jobbo. Job- you know Jobbo? No. No, Okay. <laughs> Why do they put some of the women's games on at the same time as the men's? It seems silly as the women's need to be on when they will get more ratings and not have uh, to compete with the men. 100%. Fair call. Yeah, what game was it on the weekend we West were watching? Tigers, wasn't it? They, were, they weren't televised? Yeah, we did a game thread for the males and Jose was doing the women's one and I'm like, mm. why would they put them on at the same time? Like, That's stupid. You can't watch two games at once. This yep. is my point where, once again, they're losing. Because mm. let's be realistic. If the Knights' women's on or, you know, and they're playing the, or the Knights' men's are on, you're going to watch the men's over the women. Unfortunately, like, that's just the way it is. Mm. And it's at the moment the men's are a lot more exciting, um, so we need to have the women's on before the men, and get that support, get that crowd, get that viewers in. So it needs to be worked out where each team you see the men's. Well, obviously, you don't. Have, well, they, they, they televise reserve grade too now, yeah. so not all reserve grade, but yes. Well, even if they don't televise reserve grade, let's be honest. Um, the, probably the NRLW is probably more important at the moment than the reserve grade. So if they tell us the reserve grade and oh, – sorry, NRLW and the men's, that's going to work. Mm. You know, do they ch- – even if they put reserve grade on when the women's are playing, like change it around. Mm. So you're saying ladies first, the reserve grade in the middle no. and then well, – Well, three grades. If, if they're three grades and it's going to be televised, there too – you, well, reserve grade don't get televised anymore. Yeah. The women do it and the first grade men. <coughs> but you can't have a, a more overlapping each other, the men and the women. Like, you know, like a women's game on when a men's playing. But if you have both all the women's games on at once, yep. around, you know, like reserve grades, <coughs> well, you're going to watch. But it just you can't, without that trying to sound sexist, but you just can't have... Um, the women's on when the men's are because they're going to watch yeah. the men. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't want to sound sexist, but that's just the way it is. But anyone out there that hasn't watched the women's game, watch it. Mm. Highly entertaining. Oh, they are. Well, look at the, the yeah. nights they have a night. Brilliant. Caitlin Johnson. I'm telling you what, I've said it and I'll say it again, and I'm going to try to get her on before she goes. 
Caitlin Johnson is going to be the biggest loss in, from an NRL women team next year from the Knights. Yeah. That, you know, you know, they've got rocks in their head. Why they're letting her go is an absolute – she showed the other night. Yeah. The mongrel she has in her. And I'll tell you what, yeah. she, she's – if my daughter's playing NRL or aspiring to be that, that's one of the girls I want her to look up to. Yes. You know, she's just – Gets her business done. She doesn't, you know. Yeah. Her and to make her up into two people that are role models for the club, and I think the club's, you know, it was a homegrown player, and they've done the dirty on them. That's yep. my opinion. Next one's from Ray Taylor. That's Rod Taylor's cousin, I think. You know all about Rod, wouldn't you? Mm. Okay. No, I only know Rip Taylor. Why do you think a lot of forwards don't run as hard? As the likes of Spencer Lino, mate, sure? it'd be a good game to watch if they all done that. They only play. Are you sure they only want to say Dean Smith. <laughs> they only want to run hard when they're playing for contracts. Some of them. Well, true. Nathan Brown. I think some of them are just born tougher. Mm. Some are soft at the moment, really. Like they just. Is it a case of well, got me contract? I'll just. That's you know. it. Mm. But then you get Moses Leota. There's another one. Just runs off the back fence all game. Nathan Brown, Spencer Linu. And when Moses scores, he just he's so cool about he's it. He's humble. But, yeah. but you know, Leo like Thompson like, will yeah. run all day. Um, yeah, I'd like to see it back. We've Excuse got uh, number four. We all finished? Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> if you could have any coach to rebuild a club and their pathways... Which coach would you pick? Beth Minard. Nathan Brown. Will it be a good candidate? He's a good rebuilder coach. Is he a long term coach? I'm not so sure, but as a rebuilding coach, rebuilding a club, yeah, I think he's good. Um, yeah, it's a, that's a hard one. Yeah. As much as what people hate him, feel good. Yeah, mm. 100%. I, yeah. I don't hate him, eh? Like, yeah. A lot of people don't, but you look what he's done with Penrith, really. Yeah. His 10 year plan. And now look what he's doing with the dogs. Yeah. So the blokes are genius. What, by buying the right players? 100%. No. Well, that's what they're it's just, about now. All just, your players. He built Penrith and then he's feeding them <coughs> to other clubs. That's right. But unfortunately, it's a business these days. That's, yep. I'd it, pick I, Bellamy I don't agree. or well, I was going to say Bellamy too, but like mm. you look what Phil Gould done, what the centre of excellence, like he set that pathways up. Mm. Mm. And he's wanting to do the same thing at Canterbury. And, it's and everyone's following, too. The Knights yeah. are with their... Yeah, yeah, their little centre of excellence. Mm. It's Sorry? I actually like Brad Arthur. Also the Eels, don't <laughs> No, but I just like... like he's, He did rebuild Parramatta from mm. last mm. to grand finalists. I don't know, like he's... Yeah, I just I just like what he does. I don't think he's I think the, the problem. Play- and he's still got a lot to give to a team, so... I think the players let him down, personally. Mm. Uh, Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He's another one to throw into, the Warriors catch. Oh, yeah. Andrew. Webster. 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 Look at his building. He's building an empire over there, let's oh, be honest. Yeah. But where did it all stem from? Seraldo, Webster. Well, that's right. Under Ivan. And um, what's his name? Take a Good. Bit of Jabba the Hutt. Good. Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> hey, he's lost weight. Oh, yeah. No, but it, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd throw Webster. And he's, he's honestly, uh, within the next. Um, Three to four years, you will see a premiership over in Auckland. Mark my way. They'll be in the top four and they'll be fighting hard. No, they'll take it. They'll take it. The shirt over there within four years, I reckon. Well, you have a look at their forwards next year, yeah. led by Fisher Harris, Mitch Barnett. Um, I think they just may have a, a little, maybe a little issue in the halves. Um, they, but they get that right. I think it's inconsistency. It's just mm. like they've got the team to, to do it. They're just mm. hot and cold. Mm. I mean, it is a big ass flying out of Auckland every week, but unfortunately, that's. But I think they come here what, got. three or four days before <coughs> game day anyway. Mm. So they get to acclimatise or they get to. So I Go to the boat room. Yeah, well. How do you acclimatise down there? <laughs> the boat Skinny room. dipping. Yeah. <laughs> You looked straight at Corey when you asked him that. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen you down there. <laughs> no, you won't see me down there. <laughs> so Sorry to break you up. You do go there. <laughs> you put your foot in it. Well, apparently I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> A few tricks from Paris down. You'll be able to take down there now. Uh, 
<laughs> Craig Schumacher puts, in the modern game, are the scrums outdated? With halfbacks feeding the second row, I thought they were feeding the lock, actually. It's a no-brainer with who gets the ball. Neither either stop the scrums or feed them square and bring back the hookers. Bring back the hookers, make them push for it. Who's I don't give a rat about that? Them. <laughs> yeah. You'd like Benny Elias back, wouldn't you? I would. Mm. Oh, it's never going to come back as that, oh, uh, like that unfortunately. I'm happy if they feed in the second row because that's, that's what it is, but yeah. not towards the lock like you're saying. As long yeah. as it's fed in the second row. No, and it gives, in the it, middle. But, but it's not going to, unfortunately. No. They're still doing it in Union, in the middle. Uh, you watch the scrums there. Yeah, but it's um, more a technical game. Unfortunately, that's changed and it's been like that for years and they're not going to go backwards. Backwards, yeah. So the scrums need to stay as well because – if okay, your team's a little bit fatigued and need a break. Your big boys need a little rest. You put it out so they can walk to that scrum, yeah. and they can suck in the big ones. So it needs to stay um, from a from a big units type of um, view. Perspective, yeah. yeah, it needs to stay. And you know, <coughs> another thing too, it's gamesmanship. If yeah. you've only got you know a minute or two left on the clock, and you're up by two points, and you put it out down yeah. their end, you're wasting time. Mm. Yeah. So it's smart thinking. So no, it stays. It stays for me, but I want it back in the scrub. I'm I'm a hooker from way back. <laughs> you I bet you didn't get paid much. Thought <laughs> <laughs> you that in the scrub stays in the middle or wherever. Mm. Um, Unfortunately, bring, bring it back. It, yeah, I, I know what you're saying, guys, and I agree with you. But they won't go back. Yeah, but you you look at the scrum. Yeah, you know, they, they they everyone says it's to speed the game up. He puts it in the second row of in the hookers. And he said, oh, I didn't go in the – bring it back. They're just bringing it back to redo exactly what they've done. If, no. if put you, it in and let them fight for the ball. Mm. Like, to keep your argument up, if you wanted to put it back in the middle, would you just make the scrums three-man scrums? No. No. Nah. No. Got to have a bit of push and shove. I wore too many bruises on my shins to have a three-man scrum. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else then. <laughs> you are open. <laughs> Anyways, goes back for this week. That's goes back for this week. All right, guys, we'll take a short break and be back shortly. All right, guys, welcome back. So it looks like it's cake time. Mm-hmm. Mm, thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Spinoff. Happy birthday to you. Yep, yep. Hooray. Yep, yep. Hooray. Yep, yep. Hooray. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, well, I was, uh, wasn't expecting a cake, but anyway, much appreciated. So, uh, you're not blowing them. <laughs> well, you can't buy very good. Did you make a wish? <laughs> oh, that one doesn't want to go out. Oh, don't do that. Oh, oh. I don't want to go out. Let's see on the weekend if my wish comes true. <laughs> well, we know what it is, so it's not. No, you do not. I do. How do you know? I could be asking for something of one of the players. Mm. Could be after the game present. Could be Krispy Kreme. Dreams donuts. are free. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. Anyway, thanks, guys. Much appreciated. I did have a, a, a good, good day considering. Because I was at work. No, that's why I had no. A good day. <laughs> I said considering. And um, yeah, hopefully a good. We, oh, we will have a good bus trip regardless of the school. We always have a good trip, so um, looking forward to it. So uh, <laughs> anyone that's listening, that's going on our bus trip. We have a few little extra special goodies for our people coming on, and we are going to have um, Pick the Score. Pick the Score is going to get a a, uh, a prize, so you can uh, you have to enter on the bus too. Damn. It's only for people on the bus. Excuse me. I'm part of off. the furniture, so you yeah. I'll be there in spirit. Yeah, I yeah, know, but you can't win it anyway. Okay. And then we'll also have, um, for the people on the bus trip too, we're going to have a um, photo comp, and they can w- enter as many as times as they want. And we're going to have a prize for that too. And I did have a firm one. I can't remember what we had. Nights to win. <laughs> yeah, that too. But also, if you, <laughs> for all the Penrith fans down there, keep an eye out for us because um, we have about 30 Penrith design shirts we're giving away. So, um, exclusive premiere of these shirts. So, um, all you Penrith fans, keep an eye out for us. And um, you see myself or Crazy Lady or 
Um, stress boy here. Any stress? You won't be able to miss him. <laughs> you won't. I can't miss him. Bloody names. No, you'll be in a dress, but so they won't be able to miss you. Oh, I know that. So, um, well, they might. Why? All the yeah. blokes walking around on one knee, proposing. That's you, Gaz. <laughs> what, Gaz? <is> <laughs> <proposing> <laughs> you'll you. be wishing yeah. they get on one knee. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, guys, much appreciated. Thanks everyone. Um, thank you for all the birthday wishes to uh, myself and my young bite. So. Uh, We'll take a short break and have some cake. All right, guys, welcome back. Beautiful cake. Thank you very much. Delicious. Yeah. I'm a good cook, aren't I? Yeah, you did yeah. well. Maybe what do you like about it? Out of the, box. the cake? Oh. The chocolate salty balls. Yeah. They were pretty good. Gary and Adam. No, Gary and... Chris. Chris had nuts. We had nuts. Mm. Jealous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just get tea bagged later. <laughs> <laughs> I like a good cup of tea. <coughs> Lipton or? Um, what's the yellow one? Did you say lift them? Lipton. Mm. Oh, Lipton. Lipton. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's my favourite. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> anyway. Wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> and that was for the up late with Smitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on, then, uh, we'll do play of the. We'll do night of the round. Did anyone have a night of the round this week? Yeah, I like Friday nights or Saturday nights. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Saturday night was pretty good. Well, I did a night of the round. Seeing the men weren't playing, I did a, a women's one. Out there for thinking. Downstairs for dancing. Anyway, yeah, so I women's. did... Um, Why'd you look at Corey when you said that? I didn't. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> he slipped over on the boardwalk. Uh, <laughs> boat ramp. Under the boardwalk. Anyway, uh, so I took Caitlin Johnson. I thought she was pretty exceptional in the NRLW. Uh, one offload, 19 tackles, 140 run metres and 67 post-contract metres and a ragdoll. And it was uh, sad to see her leave after this season. Mm. Yeah, that's sad. So, um, yeah, anyway. Player of the round. I'll start soon. I'm here and I'm sorry. Um, I know I did talk about this bloke a bit, but... Uh, I couldn't go past Nathan Cleary again. Um, three tries, seven goals, a total of 26 points, uh, two try assists, 41 runs for 273 run metres, um, 25 post-contact metres, five tackle breaks and a line break, uh, 15, yeah. And a 1,000 fantasy points. <coughs> yeah. I mean, he did it all, really. Yeah. So it was hard to go past him. Um, well, his last try was put on a platter. <laughs> It's on the scoreboard, so that's yeah. all that matters, really. Um, but, yeah, lo- was that Luai's? Yeah. yeah. The damage had been done, but, yeah. yeah. Um. What? You okay? I'm fine. You sure? I, I, thought... on, I was on. I had shits on Sunday, but I got over it. I thought it would have been a lot closer. Well, I told you it was going to be a cricket school. <laughs> and no tissue? No. Okay, because I probably will on the Stop weekend. Uh, I uh, probably will. Yeah, I'm, I reckon Melbourne are going to murder us this week. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon? Another bet. <laughs> no, I'm not betting ya. Come on. No. no. Come on. No. Two from two. No. <laughs> You're a man or a man? What do you want? It's a 20 point head start. I'm 20. going on no, a second go. I wanted go. 20, I couldn't get it. Oh, I'm going on a second go. 18. You want an 18 point head start? That's well, the second one I went to. Now well, give me 25. Or give, or give right. guys 17. Right. We'll talk about it later in the show, but what are we going to do? We'll think about it. No, <laughs> well, it's what you're going to do because I won't need to do it. <laughs> you're coming and to Tomago. You're, you're coming, not going anywhere near you. You're coming to Tomago with me. <laughs> Fishing. <laughs> That's what happens Fishing. if the dragons win. There's plenty of crabs down there, apparently. Oh, yeah, I reckon you'll only come back with crabs, no fish. <laughs> You haven't got a fishing rod or? No, no I don't. No. If you go, we will. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a rod. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Poor Kylie. <laughs> Your player of the room. <laughs> I feel like I'm the odd one out here. No, trust me, he's the odd one. <laughs> <laughs> you recruited me. <laughs> oh, can't, mine, wait, can't wait to see the photos of you in a dress. Mine is Connor Tracy. Three tries, three try assists, six tackle breaks and 177 metres gained. Mm. That one, you can't, hard to go past. Can't argue with that. Gaz? Mine's our favourite, Will Warbrick. One try scored, four line breaks, five tackle breaks. And 312 metres gained. That's a lot of metres, isn't it? <laughs> and the same yeah. for Adam? 
God, yes. Uh, mine was Will Warbrick. <laughs> <laughs> and it was 304 <laughs> running metres, Gaz, not 312. Do you want to make a bet on it? Double or nothing? <laughs> Four line breaks, five tackle breaks, one try. And a lot of run metres going. <laughs> 80, 87 <laughs> fantasy points. <laughs> and a partridge and a pear tree. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Pugs. Look Which, what, what name have you got me for this one? Oh, for this no, edition? Oh, sorry. All right. Well, other than Nathan Cleary, I actually thought James Tedesco was pretty good against Manly. He had almost 150 yeah. metres in the first 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, he wasn't bad, to be honest. Um, I think he should be the fullback. Who for? Australia. For the Roosters, yeah. Australia. Australia? Yeah. No, no way. If, if Dylan's out. If Dylan's out, mate, yeah, he will. He will come in. 100%. No, he's, he's Mel Meningas. He probably will. Mate. You reckon? I wouldn't. Walsh? But, You'd have to put Walsh yeah, before then Tedesco. Walsh, you've got to um, take it in that equation. Uh, okay. Did you do that well? <laughs> and he's <laughs> well put the eyeshadow on. <laughs> I like sure. the eyes. It's getting all flustered now. <laughs> oh, gory or yeah, gas? Yeah, gory. <laughs> I'm having heart palpitations. I'll give some hints before you get Someone the Someone rescue me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, I think we should move on. No, it's getting a little bit funny over this side of the table. <laughs> getting a bit. There's a colourful <laughs> rainbow over here. Oh. So, uh, yeah. There's quite a few that we could have picked. Um, there were some good performances yeah. across the board. Um, yeah, I thought... Um, Leo Thompson had a good game. <laughs> Didn't play, but we we'll throw it in there anyway. Give me a point. In your dreams. The Knights uh, had a good game, yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully Leo plays good this week. Yes. Um, well, it's, it's disappointing that he can't play against Fish. Oh, 100%, because I think <coughs> Leo steps up to another level when he plays against Fish, because I think in, Leo sort of idolises Fish a bit. Yeah. Um, and so... A lot of his credit for his form turnaround over the last couple of years goes back to James Fisher Harris. Yes, it does. Because Fish took him under his wing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, yeah, as you've seen there at Newcastle a few weeks ago, um, as soon as the game was finished, a mm. pair of them just together, you yeah. know, shows the mateship that they got there. Yes. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, that was the play of the round this week and um, night of the round. So, um, don't have a lot more, then. No. So, really. No. No, but um, I need to go to the loo, so I'm going to take a short break and be back shortly. All right, guys, welcome back. Time for the week that was with Elliot, but unfortunately Elliot is busy in the city with uh, Triple M, so we'll... Um, catch up with him next yeah, week. Catch up with him next week. He sends his sincere apologies. Um, so... Uh, We'll get on the week that was with Elliot without Elliot. So, uh, first game uh, off the rank was Friday night. The Warriors 28 over the Tigers 16. Uh, I thought it would have been more than this, um, but it wasn't too bad of a game. Um, mm, not much really say about this game, really. It wasn't a lot of high lot. To, yeah. Warriors had to do what they had to do to get the two mm. points, really. Mm. Pretty much, that was it. Um, anyone got any input on this one? Just that I picked them. The Warriors? <laughs> yep. Yeah, same. Mm. I only got one <laughs> wrong this week. <laughs> Bloody Broncos. Yeah. I think everybody got that one wrong. Mm. That was, would have been a perfect round. Broncos and Dolphins. Mm. Yeah, I got those two wrong. But Warriors, um, yeah. Yeah. You reckon they're going to make the eight? No. 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 I reckon they'll sl- squeeze in. Well, go, yeah, if they do, there'll be eight. Yeah. All right, they'll be squeezing in at eight. Yep. That's my opinion. I reckon it'll be the Dolphins. Hang on, no, where are they sitting now? No, they've got to win drastically on everything. I heard. Oh. Mm. All right, eighth spot will be either Newcastle or the Warriors. What's but Newcastle's draw? Well, Newcastle draw's not too bad on the Not run, too though, bad on the They'd Warriors. They'd have to wing. wing. <laughs> Win on Sunday. <laughs> no, I think we can yeah. lose that and still make it. Uh, but well, obviously, uh, winning would make it a lot easier. Uh, Tigers and Titans. I think there's a I'm not sure. I know they've got four or five home games. Tigers, Titans, Souths. Maybe Souths. Yeah, we've got a few home games, so it's Cronulla. possible. Cronulla. Um, but the thing is, too, if you, people think, all right, we're safe with the Titans, we're safe, safe with the Tigers this time of year. Nope. No. Mm. 
Nothing to lose. They'll come down and pull your pants down. Mm. Yeah, well, you've got, well. you've got Bulldogs, Cowboys 26, fifth and sixth. Mm. Seagulls 25. You've got Dolphins 24, eighth. Raiders 24, eighth. Dragons 24, eighth. Or mm. nine, eighth, ninth, and tenth. And where's the ninth? And. Eleventh, twenty-two. Warriors are twenty-one. Yeah, so the Raiders, the Raiders might be a snooty, snooty, snooty. Too hot and cold, too. No. Um, but yeah, possibly. Yeah. But I reckon, yeah, even the, I reckon the spots a hard one. But I think I like say the Knights, um, but I'm unsure. But I reckon the Warriors could sneak through. Mm. Yeah. So not a lot. Anyone else? Got nothing on there. Um, nah. Uh, anyway, move on to this next <coughs> boring game. Um, Eels fourteen. Went down to the storm, 32. Shut up, Adam. I haven't said a word yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just did. It was a very boring first half. Yeah, for you. <laughs> the second half, we put yous away. Mm. Eels played pretty good in the first half, yeah. I must admit, guys. Um, I thought it was still, there to take. They're still trying right up the end. Like, mm. the last couple of games, they've just been, they've been in Rio or somewhere. He caught me cheering on Parramatta at one stage, and he goes, are you going for Parramatta? I went, no, I just don't want the four against to be, to be too much because the storm is miles ahead of us. Yeah, <coughs> that's mm. all it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, once again, storm just did what they had to do to win too, yep. get the points. Mm. Um, they scored yeah. on two forward passes too. I don't know if anyone noticed that. No, I didn't. No such thing in Welcome yeah. to the NRL. footy these days. No. Welcome to the NRL. Because if it's not two forward passes a game, it's not the NRL, really. There was one where they <coughs> pulled it up. I won't get any confirmation off Adam for this. Oh, he's <laughs> they, pretty. They done a forward pass and they, they stopped it. It's a try before uh, before and after that one. And yeah. it was a line ball that they pulled up. Hughes come out and he's gone like that. The ball's, you know, how you go like this and it can float. Mm. He went like that. The bloke is running up here and there's, oh, what a terrific try. I always repeat what I said from the bed. Like, unreal. Hughes mm. was put on. Like, they wouldn't have won. Full stop. They wouldn't have. Para wouldn't have won. But you still want to see them. Yeah. Some yeah. So they were, but they were competitive. Yeah. Oh yeah. And like you said, if they were wide, yeah, to the. I just don't see why they can't rule them forward passes when you got that. Exactly. Yeah, like wide mm. up. That's like with that Titans, Dolphins game. You see that forward pass? Mm. I might throw it out, bounce. And like it was already four me through it, but then bounced and then went about five minutes forward. I yeah, went, picked yeah. it up, they all stopped and he scored. Mm. Try. Well, the Knights against Manly the other week. Yeah. Um, well, the first try was a forward yeah, fast. It was like two or three metres forward or whatever. Mm. And the yeah. ref's standing there and he's going straight, play on, play yeah. on. Yeah. Mm. And, then, and the Knights go. He get, obviously get, had a, a wager on that one. And the yeah. Knights, they, they pull up the Knights for a forward price in that but same it wasn't. game. Yeah, that's right. It wasn't forward. It was <laughs> at, at the very most, it was flat. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Why did Hughes get put on report? It was something stupid. Mm. He ran off the line too fast or something? Can't remember now. Mm-hmm. It was a yeah. flop or the other? Oh, was a flop. The flop, wasn't it? Was oh. it a flop? Far out. Heine must have got on report every game. Nothing come <laughs> of it, though. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's a storm motoring on. Um, they'll be there, like we said, I reckon. Minor premiers, Minor, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well... Yeah, if they keep yeah. going, but if they're only two points ahead of you. Four, I think. Four? Yeah. We'd have to win. Uh, There's still a few games. It could yeah, change, yeah. but it's looking very <laughs> yeah. likely. Yeah. I think there's what, what, only four or five rounds left. Yeah. Six. Mm. Six, is it? Round 27, it goes to. What are we getting now? 22. 20, 20, this week, round 21. 22 this week. Oh, yeah. mm. So it's possible, but it's highly lo- likely yeah. that the Storm will take it. Mm. Um I can say the gear's gone pretty quick. How's that? Time flies when you're having fun. Mm. Every Tuesday? Yes. That's why we're here. That's the paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, the Broncos, 16, down to the Doggies, 41. That is correct. 41. They were sensational. The dogs mm. were good. Uh, and saying that, sorry. As soon as I heard Critter was out, I'm thinking, nah, they're going to get beaten. Look, who saw that coming? No one. <laughs> I'll tell you what. But the Broncos were pretty dismal, too. Yeah. But Critter's got to go to the Bulldogs for making them be that dismal. Yeah. 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 I thought Kurt Mann played really well. He, I was just going to say, I was just going to bring it up, mate. He's, you know, that's what they call him killer for nothing. No. Well, his defence is fantastic. He put, like, two or three yeah. big hits on yeah. in one set. Yeah. yeah. 
like, and this is what a lot of people don't see in Killer too, is that he'll try to inspire the team and lift them. And he's he's only tiny, really. Yeah. He's not a big boy, but just goes to show all you young fellas out there that you don't have to be the biggest bloke to play footy. It's what's in here. Yeah, and um, he's he's been good at every club that he's been at. Kurt's biggest problem why he can't cement a first grade lot position. Because he's good at every position. So he's Mr. Fix-It. And we shouldn't have let him go. Like, we could have used him so many times this year. I think they've missed a the trick there. Mm. Why are they let... Like, I don't like this <coughs> players and whatever. But we should have kept Killer and let go of Jaden Braley, to be honest. One, you're saving money. And two, one's not made of, you know, glass. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, I think we let the wrong one go. But Crichton uh, will be back this week. Billy Armour kicking was playing some good footy too. Yep. Is he again. back this week? Critter. Well, it was only one week, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh okay. Um, I thought the Bulldogs half stood up pretty well. Yes. Toby, Toby Sexton. Sexton. Like, it's, we've like, been like, saying this all year when... Yeah, what's Kim Hutchinson. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. As soon as he gets back in that side... Mm, 100%. And that's like... Their halves are playing good. Mm. The fullbacks playing good. Then you got Kurt at thirteen, so mm. you got options all over the place. Oh, like Jacob Preston as well. Yes. Mm. And even the younger guys, the, the mm. guys. I oh, know Ado Carr's got to come back. Mm. He's, he's back. Mm. Yeah, this week. Yeah. So who got the flick? Wilson. Probably Wilson. Um, yeah, I think it's. I think Wilson. Yeah, I thought, oh, that's a hard pill for me to swallow. To be honest, like that kid's been playing well all year since Ado Carr's been going out. I don't find it. Fair that he comes straight back in. <laughs> I think I know Ado Car's Ado Car, he's great, but that sends a bad message to the younger kids out there, too. Is yeah. you know, and he should have had to have a week or two in reserve grade and fight for his spot back. Yeah. Well, look at the Knights. Brady Jones was out with a HOA last week. He's fit to come back because he had to have his ten- turn. He's been shafted. Mm. Yeah, he's on the reserve bench. So. You know, I mean, it's, I find that a bit. Front row's going too well too. That is it new? Is it young Blake Hughes and Max King? Mm. Yeah, they're going well. Like they're, they're a very good footy side, and they'll be. Oh, they're going to be. They might um, surprise a few mm. in the playoffs. I take my words back to where I said I was a bit unsure with Seattle C- C- if he was a coach or not, or if he was just an assistant. Well, he's probably proven he is. Yeah. But in saying that too, when you've got a roster like that, it, it does make coaching easy. So. Anyway, moving on. Cowboys, 30 over the drag. Uh, sorry, Dragons, the Sharks, 22. Mm. I, um, the Cowboys surprised me in this, to be honest. I thought the Sharks would win this game, but mm. um, the Cows have still got something to prove at the present time. They're in the, they're in the mix for the eight, though. Did you see yeah. Sharks, for me, are not premiership contenders. No. <coughs> they're no. far from... Uh, I know they're up there. What are they running now? Fourth, is it? Yeah, something like that. You know, yeah. uh, you know, credit credit's to you. But I think a lot of them games, yeah, they, they, they. I know people go, oh yeah, but Nico's not there. Even with Nico there, they're still not Premiership. Talking friend. about talking about Nico. Did anyone hear the rumor that he might be bailing from Sharks and Cowboys picking him up? Hmm? I heard that today. Well, well, it's probably just one of those yeah, fake rumours that come out. I but couldn't hear anything over the total rumour. But yeah. however, there were, <laughs> I, was I, I did hear a whisper about that over the last couple of days, but and I thought they can't because who uh, else are they going to have there? Uh, they got no asses, it is <coughs> really. Daniel Sharks. Lake, Daniel Atkinson, and Braden Trindle. Yeah, so as no. Atkinson's been going on. Right? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's. I think it's just horseshit, but. You know, but where there's smoke, there's fire with all those sort of things. But well, not all, all the time. Yeah. But too, he's not going anywhere. Yeah. Touch wood. Um, but Nico at Storm, yeah, good. Yeah. Nico outside of Storm, no good. Well, he won the, Del- he won the Dally M Player of the Year from Cronulla, didn't he? Well, hang on. The same yeah. boat that got six yeah. Daily M points What's this year. What's his name again? Do the first station? Yeah, I'm bouncing around for him. <laughs> but the same boat that got six Daily M points in a losing side yeah. that played absolutely atrocious against the Tigers this year. I'm not saying it's rigged, but come on. Yeah, yeah that was rigged. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Sorry, I'll say it. It's rigged. <laughs> yeah, like, that's just, yeah. You can if you watched the game, he played dismal, absolutely dismal, and got six points. 
Buzz Ruffer was one of the judges that night, so go figure. Anyway, Cowboys. Um, Roosters and Seagulls. I wasn't finished with Cowboys, but anyway. <laughs> okay. Cowboys still doing, like I said, doing what they have to to win. Um, Kyle Phelps playing some good football, I think. He got three tries, didn't he? Mm. Um, yeah. I didn't like what he – I don't know if he was – Yeah, saw that, standing he, over the, the top the young, of the The guy with the deb, the, being on deb debut, I thought that was a bit – Yeah, harsh. I thought it was. Unless he was just welcome to, welcome to first grade, mate, yeah. Yeah, or something. Yeah, mm. something like Apparently his elbow or his forearm hit him in the face. Yeah. He was just coming he... over to make a cover tackle, though. Mm. Mm. He wasn't late. Uh, but uh, the only thing I look at there, a veteran like that, yeah, has got to realise, hey, this kid's probably, yeah, shit nervous too. So he was, a, he was that young fella at one stage. Yeah. So um, anyway, right, hey, Gary, I won't hold you back now. You you want your yeah. roosters on? You finished? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he likes so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roosters thirty four over the Seagulls thirty. Mm. Close game. It was the Seagulls were coming back. Three Roosters units. had it for ages, and I thought, oh, it's going to be a walkover. Only three yeah. intercept tries kept a minute. Yeah, well, true. Who threw them? Oh, I think Teddy might have thrown one, I think. Yeah. So mm -hmm. When he passed. <laughs> the rest of them are in reserve grade next <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah, well, Cherry Evans I ran away. I think Kerry might have thrown one. Mm, hence why he won't be there next year. But I don't know if Chad Townsend, you reckon he's the answer? So no. find out. He, he's a good player, but... Yeah, he won't be there long term. Maybe he's just going to be there to Paul teach. Paul Gowan doesn't think so. Well, I reckon he's like a mentor. Mm, mentor role. Mm. Fair enough. Um, Do you want me to say this one? Well, yes, you Next can. game, so get it out. Oh, can I finish this one? Yeah. yeah. You and Gaz are a bit... You yeah. drag, you're, you're dragging on a lot with these, aren't you? Not really. Okay, keep going. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bruce is... Still, you know, doing what they have to do to win as well. Um, playing some good footy. Um, their forwards are going well. Oh, well. Oh, Spencer's just on fire, mate. He is. Yeah, I love, love he's, he's been a... What are you laughing at? I reckon he's Spencer. a big... He'll get the forward of the year. Oh, well, I, I love to play, year. mate. Seriously. Yeah, That's the thing. Well. You know, all the players I like have got yeah. aggression, you know, yeah. and love that. Oh, look, he's a cult hero there now. He's yeah. only been there 12 months. Mm. And as soon as he... Lines up, but the crowd go berserk. Yeah, Angus Crichton's playing really well. Like mm. it's, they're going pretty well. Um, they'll be hard to crack at the top ones. Yeah, they will. They'll, they'll have a crack. Whether they'll be good enough to go through that way, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, they'll definitely be in the top four. Mm. Um, I guess it all depends on injury too. But uh, yeah, I don't want to see the Roosters so, take it out. Except I mean, for Tom Young scored 14 tries for him this year, so he sorely missed here. Yeah, he is, but he's still liability in defence, I feel. You reckon? Yeah. Still comes in? I'd still, you know, okay, whoever's playing him this week, okay, so I'm coaching Penrith and we're playing the um, Roosters. A lot of my attack is going to go down to Dom Young, and it, yeah. a lot of it will be on the last. Dolphins? Well, well it will be the high ball, because he's just, he's got the speed in attack. He's mm. second to none, but... Um, Defence, I mean, it's just a little bit of a liability in there. And if you watch this game, I reckon they'll target Dom Young. Because yeah. yeah. he's on the other side, Tupo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so he's more safer than Dom Young, that's for sure. All right, you know, I'm with it. Dragons 10, Penrith bloody 46. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I couldn't Mrs. hear you. Mrs. Doubtfire, Abby. Yeah, I couldn't hear from Mrs. Doubtfire, what was that? All right. Dragons 10. Huh. Penrith bloody 46. Sorry? Bloody, bloody 46. You had to read Panthers first. No. <laughs> he likes it backwards. <laughs> well, dra Dragons were the home team. Dragons are home team. They were. And they were celebrating their 25 years being in St. George, Illawarra. Oh, and geez, seriously? Geez, they, so played, geez, they, the, geez, they played shit. Old, boy, old boys day. I was going to send the Wamblance to you on Sunday. You're Wamblance. horrible. <laughs> you rub it in worse. I don't rub it in when we... Look, well, I'm gonna get it wasn't so much. I knew they weren't going to win, right? But they were disgraceful, and that's what pissed me off the most. And that's why I can't watch it mm. when they play like that. If they're competitive and they get, you know, I mean, everybody understands that. Mm. One thing you got to remember: look at the team you played against. 
It's not the team. It's how we play, and we played rubbish. But that team stopped you from playing that good. So I wouldn't be too concerned. But Ben Hunt should have adjusted his kicks but Ben to Hunt win. was disgraceful. Mm. Three out three out but in the full. Did that's, you, that's Penrith played little. pretty well. So oh, I'm not it, taking... I will no, not, no, no, no. no. I'm saying you can take a little bit out. Don't be so hard on your team. Not a lot of teams would have beat Penrith yet. Obviously. Probably not. But there's a good marker where the the, bottom, the teams that are in that hmm. just of the eight and where they need to be in a few years' time, where Penrith are at. And that's, oh, yeah. the, that's the marker. But you've you got to remember, too, you're still in the eight. Yes, just. Just. Yeah. Four, and, four and against is going to kill a say down. But where were you last year? 16. There you go. So you're building. Melbourne Storm says, hold my beer this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> we are. We are building, and I, and I appreciate where you're coming from. And it's good. I really do, but... As I said, I'd love to see my team competitive every week. They weren't competitive, and that's what pissed me off the most. They might come out and put up a good fight Dude, this week, but I they're still not going to win. I support the Knights. <laughs> I'm a passionate supporter. I know, but look, dude, like, we've been inconsistent all year. Did they kick three out in the well, fall? Well, no, probably seven. <laughs> but the thing is, from your point of view, like, from being a Dragon supporter, mm. From last year, you've improved. You, oh, so you 100%. Could, if you finish even where you are now, it's a tick. It's oh, a I'm happy with season. that. Between 8, 9 and 10, yes. So, I've always so said you're building. Here. Flano's shown that he can coach a yeah. team. Mm. You're getting some good players coming in. You're getting to get, you are You will have Daniel Saifidi next year. And we will have Valentine Holmes, I'd guess. I'd say there's a good chance. And, and Corey Horsburgh. There you go. For So there's three quality players. Mm. And Damien Cook. Oh, anyone else you want? Well, like Brian we got low, we got Lomax. We're happy. I liked Flano's um, um, press conference. I like I like Flano what he does mm. though. Like he doesn't beat around the bush. He doesn't bullshit. Mm. Like he dropped Tyro Slime before the game. Mm. Like because he was. Do you reckon that was wise though? Yes, it was because he can't tackle. In, well, he, he needs to. He needs work on I his defence. I thought he's been playing pretty good. Yeah. He has mm. in the tack. He has, but he, he he let four tries in the week before. He well, needs to work on his defence. Okay, but there's also twelve others that. Yeah, be be true. Right? True. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's why he's dropped Ravalava this year. He hasn't, he hasn't seen much of Michaela Ravalava. Yeah, and he get he got in trouble for abusing a ref. That's right. You know, and mm. you've got the Fenai brothers who I didn't really rate, but they're playing well. Yeah, what, one was off. One was off with HIA, and they mentioned the other one. I said to Dean, "Hang on a minute." Isn't he supposed to be off? Yeah, there's, there's like they've got brothers. the dragons have got three sets of brothers in the in the. Who are in, they? Penai. Yeah, Fei. Fei. Oh. That's how you pronounce it. There's three sets of twins in the in the in the club. Mm. Wow. Couchmans, Fei's, and I think there's a, there's another someone in um, the Finus are in the reserve grade. Oh really? Uh, yeah, there's heaps. Anyway, Corey, Titans twenty one. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, what does it say? What does that say? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> tits. Tit. No, it's one tit. I'm not just playing with one. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you look at Corey when you said that? No, I didn't. <laughs> hey, what did, what'd you say? They're udders, anyway. He's oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Dolphins 14. Tit. 21. Yeah, I got this wrong. So did Adam. I didn't. I can't remember what I took. <laughs> a, a Dolphins led 14 nil early. Yeah. Was that, mm. So they jumped out of the box and went to sleep. Oh, I was yelling at the TV yeah. and all of a sudden they come back because we're in another footy team comp and I'm going pretty good. I'm, uh, what, fourth or something? Yeah. And they've run ahead of me and used their joker. Ooh. So I'm just like, yeah. You're just waiting at yeah. the end. Oh, yeah. If I can just stay fourth by, I think I'm only behind by four points from the top. Yeah. Bang, happy days. Perfect mm-hmm. round. So I've just got to keep up there and, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah. Same up back Parramatta till the end of the, week, end of the year. No, honestly, you'll be surprised. Some teams at the lower end of the scale will, will cause some upsets yeah. from here on in. Mark my word. Excuse me. I'll, I'll, have, to, I'll have to see who we're playing the last few days. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more betting with this idiot down there. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Sue, you just remind me something. Anyone watch the English Super League follow that? Yeah, I do bit. follow it. Jesse Sue, bit. how good's he going? Yeah. He's killing it. I'll tell you what, we'll organise uh, one... <laughs> How did you get from that? He said yeah. Sue. Oh. Anyway, killing it. I've seen a bit today. Yeah, we'll have to get Jess on. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, that's what I was thinking too. I was trying to think there earlier today. 
Where you know how Penrith are losing some forwards, yeah. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> <laughs> It's his birthday, leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this will help you next week then. <laughs> I reckon Penrith should throw some money. At, they'll get him cheaply too. Jesse Sue back at, and at Penrith. You reckon yeah. everyone should go to Penrith? No, well, I just see players that I see have potential that could grow and play. Jesse Sue's probably got a couple of years left in him. So he'd be a good mentoring role. He might be happy where he is. Oh, he is. He's loving it there. There in you England. go. He is. He's in England. Yeah, no. he's loving it there, but I mean, the chance to come play for the Panthers. I, I, I rate the bloke. I reckon yeah. he was. Um, you didn't see his full potential at the Knights, no. but up the Tigers and the Bulldogs, you did. No. Um, it'd be good to see him in the black, to be honest. Tell you, you're going off the English Super League there for a minute. Brady Croft. Yes. Yes. Like last I don't months. know why the Knights are not trying to get him. The last Knights. 18 months, he's been like. Mm. I think he actually got the. Uh, Man of Steel. Yeah, yeah. Man of Steel award mm. over there too. Like. Well, no disrespect to Jack Cogger. Um, great bloke in the right team, good player. I said this before he even laced on a boot for the Knights. He is not the right fit for us. Yeah. And we are not the right fit for Jack. Jack needs to go back to Penrith. Jack yeah. was killing it at Penrith. Um, <coughs> could gone. go back there and kill it again. He's not the right fit for us. I don't think he should be in red and blue next year. Yeah. Not just for the goodness of the club, but for Jack as well. Yeah. Tyson Gamble would look good in black. Leo Thompson would look good in black. Greg Marzu would look good in black. You heard what Greg said to you last week. Oh, seriously? Yeah, but you heard the total rumour today. Can you imagine, though, if actually this did happen? I know you're, you know, you're all shits and gigs now, but what happens if actually in the real world? Oh, yeah. That Greg actually did actually go to Penrith. See, this, this desk would be tipped upside down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just to start with, anyway. <laughs> and he'd be like, sorry, Smitter. I honestly hope, seriously, that Greg scores a try because I told him to look for a lot. Like, I told him not to. Him. He's going to find Well, they're still to him. And, but, <coughs> no, July is all right. When's, when's it'll be a try, try July? Try July. July, July yeah, he weekend. would have finished by yeah. last week. I want to see him do a backflip. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> but no. I love the banner he gives Kylie, but too. No Hang on. The last time he did a backflip, didn't he end up with a leg injury <laughs> after? Yeah, maybe. They when, he was, the springboard. when he was on TV and he was singing and dancing and he did that backflip, he was hurt the next <laughs> oh, week. Right, eh? So mm. let's not do a backflip. Yes. But anyway, where were we going with this? Yeah, Jesse Sue. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Tip. Raiders. <laughs> Raiders. Did I say... That they would win and cause an upset down there. Did I not? 32 12, Raiders over the Rabbits. Too cold for the bunnies. It was. Yeah, it's probably still defrosting from down there. Yeah, did you see him with mm. his jumpers on? They mm. were dropping like flies. Drop the yeah. like rabbits in the. <laughs> oh, in the I don't. <laughs> the rabbits obviously gone for this year. Yep. Um, but yeah. So that was the men's for this year. Obviously, Knights had a, had a buy. Uh, we'll quickly get into the women's results too. The Knights NRLW 12 over the Roosters 10. They were lucky. Uh, well, yeah, they were. No, um, I mean, if you kicked the, the yeah. goal. Yeah. yeah. But it um, wasn't to be. Um, Knights showed that, you know, they still are premier, probably the favourites to take the comp out. Um, to make her Upton, Caitlin Johnson, they stay fit. Uh, Olivia Higgins played yep. well. No, just all, all around. And some of the lesser name players that you don't really know of too play really well. And that's what I like about it. And that sh- mountain, like she's a massive petty bond. Oh, yeah. She just keeps going, dude. It's like, a good game. Hmm. Good game. Yeah, no, they're, they're all about playing well. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, Sharks 14 over the Cowboys. Zero. Ducky. Um, I didn't watch too much of this game. I watched a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Um, they were defensively, obviously, well, holding them to deal, but uh, Cronulla, yeah, they played pretty well. Mm. They did. Interesting to see the growth of these teams, how they progress. Uh, the Broncos, 10. Gary, this is unusual for you this year, but the Eels got a win, 22-10. Hey, do you want to actually tell you that Parramatta, in how many years they've been in this competition, have only won three or four games? Yeah, but they got to a grand final in one. Uh, Yeah, but that was only probably, (laughs) they probably only played three games. Does not matter. You won one game, you get to a grand final. Yeah. Does not matter. There's a pattern here. (laughs) Parramatta got the bye and went down a level. Yeah. And they, or no one. The only ones that can do that. 
it wasn't another one they lost and went up. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, they mm. I, they did upset the Broncos. I thought the Broncos scored what the first two tries, and I thought, oh, they run away with this. Uh, a bit of biff in it, Dave. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Apparently, the girls are going to fill in for the men with. <laughs> Same with the Nards girls. Yeah, freaking know. Anyway, the Dragons ten went down to the Titans eighteen. Titans another um, premiership favourite. Yeah. I will. Yeah. They played really well. I, mm. yeah. I reckon that this year it would be Knights Titans Grand Final. Is that what it was last year, wasn't it? Mm, yes, I think it was. Mm. All right, and that'll be it. Everyone goes, oh, Roosters, Roosters, this, Roosters, that. Yeah, they're stacked with players, but they just can't get it right again. No. I yeah. just think... It's hard to say that going off one game. Well, that's right, but we're just... But, you know... Look at the Raiders. Year, well, yeah, 32-12 over the Tigers, but I just... The way I look at it, there's two... Is it too, too many... People want to shine in the in the roosters, so to speak. When the knights sort of just yeah. get get it done, you know it's what a, I mean. Why is there too many? It's a team, not a mm. yeah. See, I I, I got nothing. I like Millie Boyle, but I think when it was between her and Tamika, I reckon they made the right choice. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. And then Caitlin Johnson and Pettibone. Yeah, yeah. Well, no offense to Millie Boyle, she's a good player. Yeah, but I'd take them pair. Mm. Like Caitlin Johnson, like. <coughs> Sharks probably next year I reckon win the comp They're getting Caitlin Johnson and that, and that, Just her and herself I know they're not A one man team But when you've got That wrecking ball In your team it's, yeah. it, it helps But good to see Penrith Starting to get into this Yep Well there's um, two Was it Canterbury And the Warriors Will be in next year's mm, Women's yeah. competition oh, The Warriors will be Interesting to see mm, mm, Some of the, the <laughs> women With the tattoos mm. On their chins yeah. And stuff yeah. oh. Well they were in the fir- They were one of the First teams in the First women's mm. Well, I reckon one of the Knights girls will go back there. Yeah. yeah. Stacey Jones's mm. uh, niece. Yeah. yeah. So the more, yeah. So you could see, be interested to see which team actually gets decimated with with, with expansion. Mm. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Tigers twelve down to the Raiders thirty two. Um, that's it. That's Don't it. Say too much about that one. Nah, wasn't much in it. No. So time for a bit of humour. Be the crazy ladies' jokes. Of the week. Got some good ones for us this week. How many you got? Three. Three. <laughs> Let's do it. Portia asked her father, Dean, how were people born? Dean replied, Adam and Eve made babies, then their babies became adults and made babies, and so on. Portia then went to her mother, asked her the same question, and she told her, we were monkeys then, we evolved to become like we are now. Portia ran back to her father and said, You lied to me. Dean replied, No, your mum was talking about her side of the family. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I like it. Like it. A police officer attempts to stop a car for speeding and the guy gradually increases his speed until he's topping 160 kilometres. The man eventually realises he can't escape and finally pulls over. The cop approaches the car and says, It's been a long day and my shift is almost over, so if you can give me a good excuse for your behaviour, I'll let you go. The guy thinks for a few seconds and then says, My wife ran away with a cop about a week ago. I thought you might be that officer trying to give her back. (laughs) (laughs) Good one. There we are. Drum roll, please. This is the case of Save the Best to Last. Yeah, I didn't change the names because it's a bit rude. You would have given me a filthy look. Oh, I would. A little girl finds her dog dead with its legs in the air on it, on its back. She asks her dad why his legs are in the air. He replies, so Jesus can pick him up and take him to heaven. The next evening after her father came home from work and the girl says, Dad, Mum nearly died today. She was on her back with her legs in the air saying, Jesus, I'm coming. And if it wasn't for the milkman holding her down, we'd have lost her too. (laughs) Goody but an oldie. (laughs) Dog's name was Stuffy. (laughs) I'd like to know who the names were going to be filled in. Corey. (laughs) Corey and Chris. I got spared this time. (laughs) Corey and Chris and the milkman. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, obviously you got the Nazi fleet. Mm. Yep. So what's our bet? Mm. What, what are we going to do? What's uh, no eyebrows are going? No mohawks going? Come on, no, look no dresses. 
No. Oh, well, they've already got some yeah, like that, Cameron. You and Gaz have got that down pat address. Mm, but they do it for free. Why don't we just do something just plain and boring? Like maybe what, just, have you on? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you have to wear the pen of jersey on the way home. Nah, it's got to be a little bit more exciting. Maybe we could watch this space and you've got to, you've got till Friday to think of something. What about you, Silver Fox? What about if you lose when we do a go-kart challenge in a Borat suit? Are you serious? Borat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to turn him on. <laughs> I'm not coming. He gave oh, me, you he, will be. You will be. <laughs> he, he gave me the idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was the 50 was. <laughs> I'd say tutu, but you've worn a tutu before when we did that walk. Charity walk. Oh, I, I'll, do, I'll wear an outfit to the go-karts. A leotard. What's a leotard? Oh, Jesus. One where your junk hangs out. <laughs> Ballet, it's a, it's ballet, like Borat, but you can cut your bum up. I was going to say, you reckon you get excited with the Borat? Wait till you put a leotard on. Tight things, <laughs> you haven't you got a leotard? Yeah. yeah. Where's yeah. the yeah. Tommy go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're arseholes, <laughs> chaps. My name, my name is Karina down there. <laughs> Karina. <laughs> it stops the leeches from getting on him. Oh, <laughs> so, oh no, we can think of something. Mm. But, um, Hmm. But yeah, speaking of go karts, we're going. We're just early stages of doing our annual go kart challenge. But um, I might have a chat to my good mate there and maybe see if we can get a couple of free passes. We might be able to give away for a uh, viewer to win a comp to join us on the day. Do they get to uh, if they lose? Get the tattoo? No, no. They, th- there'll be other? different categories. Like there'll be the show crew race, and then there might be. Um, sponsors and this one here kind of thing. And so is Chris going to get the tattoo again? Well, we all agree to accept the the rules and regulations. Obviously, Kylie is exempt from this one, but it is a tramp stamp tattoo. And the tattoo is... Yeah, I've got no room. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Her back's full, so... Um, <laughs> it is of <laughs> oh, <Corey. laughs> I missed it. Stuff, is that stuff I may have missed. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, oh, I knew exactly what you were thinking then. <laughs> you dirty bastard. Full of. <laughs> no, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you just went to the old back full joke. You just. <laughs> the. Corrina down the boat ramp was full. <laughs> oh. The, the, I don't know how he'll go down the boat ramp after this one if he loses, but. Oh, it is a, there's a tram stamp. It's of Tigger. Yeah. And it's above, the, obviously, the crack of your butt. And it's looking down. It says, Pooh, are you in there? <laughs> so we all agree on that. You all right with that, Chris? Because it hurts a little bit, apparently, I've been told. Well, he was a clean skin and he got a portrait of me. So I'm yeah. saying he's... He'll practice in the kitchen with the dinner plate dinner again. Dinner plate again. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put that up on the outtake. He'll be like, again. where's running? Was that cool running? <laughs> I'll get the the um, the footage and we'll put it in the outtakes of Chris practicing for Nick for last year's thing. But I'll tell you what, credit what credit's due. The bloke's never driven a car, never driven anything. And he, he nearly he smoked you. He's only driven his wife. <laughs> Mad. Well, that was once, but he nearly smoked you too. <laughs> he went all right. Let's be real. It's fine. No, no, I'm not saying he did, but he for someone that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, and then there was another bloke that. That was uh, the first time I was in a go kart too. Another bloke only made it halfway up the ramp, rolled back down. I reckon. I More reckon, than once. I reckon. <laughs> I reckon they should have one of those races. Mm, and um, <clears throat> I'll choose my words correctly here, but I will mount you in the go kart again. How I did. <laughs> Is that choosing your words correctly? Go Obviously kart. not. Go yeah. kart. Go kart. Yeah. Go kart. Go yes. Kart. Yes. Not boat I don't know how we ended up doing that, but not boat well, ramp. Are you go kart. In the go kart. the animal. <laughs> He's still thinking the boat ramp. Is yeah. your back full again? <laughs> On that note, I'm getting out of here. Or well, you are. Um, so catch you <clears throat> Sunday, and um, all the Penrith fans out there, mm. as I said, keep an eye out for us because we have. Um, some, some shirts to give away. We might get one out when we come back and give them a squeeze. Or, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone. Thanks for my great birthday, and um, thanks for the two points on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Dreams are free. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll take a short break. Be back shortly. All right, guys, welcome back, and it's time for our new segment that we've had for the last few weeks and stuff you may have missed. So, uh, yeah, we've had a few entries this week, so um, 
Let's get into the first one. A uh, couple of for the, on the weekend there. There was that one there at the Eels game. Yep. Freddie Mercury, was it? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Watched him. Friend of yours? Yes. Mm. Fair enough. Yep. Uh, yeah, good to see, you know, people getting involved with the yep. crowd like that. But, um, if yeah. If you notice, all, all the people are looking that way. <laughs> He knew, the he knew where the camera was. Yeah. He knew where the camera was. True. There's another one there. Uh, young Cruiser doesn't look too happy that uh, Portia wants to trade her, her brother for a jersey. So um, <laughs> I thought that was pretty gold. Who's but, but, um, yeah. the bloke behind Cruise? That's my um, um, stuff. Oh, yeah, but that's my nephew next to me. A good soccer boy, too. Yeah. Mm. But they have a bloke with the A's hat on. The anal hat, is it? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next one. And that oh. is uh, Christine Vasalo, I believe. We, um, Woo! Yeah. Wow. That, that's all right. Is, that. If, that is not a dead ringer for Chris. Straight, <laughs> straight out of Malta. Yeah. He's a uh, twin sister of Chris, um, Christine. So, um, <laughs> Christine uh, What has she got of eggs? What is it? I don't know. Oh, no. It looks like. I thought it would come out of a nose. I was going to say, is that coming out or is it going in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like that. that is stuff that may have missed it, Mr. <laughs> Mouth. But uh, yeah, I think we have one more. Um, which Oh, no, that was it. My apologies. So, uh, yeah, some pretty good stuff you may have missed. Oh, hang oh, on. Yeah, there we go. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those of you that were wondering where Corey was last week, he was on a date. He was missing. <laughs> you see down on the uh, she man's left side there, sticking out of a pocket. Mm-hmm. A, that's got the boat ramp um, address on it. Yeah, I was just looking on Corey's left side, left side of his, not the picture. He's a little bit funny in the pocket there. Yeah. <laughs> I was holding yeah. the keys. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no, you hold. <laughs> so, uh, that wasn't stuff you may have missed because you didn't miss it. That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, um, on that note, we'll take another quick short break and be back shortly. Guys, uh, welcome back, and thanks to Telstra, we have some pretty ordinary phone lines tonight, but we're going to give it a shot anyway, and uh, time for talking, Schmidt, and caller number one, who we got there? Happy birthday, big penis. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's Hello, Simon. Simon, how are you? Well, I'm well, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Much better now, I've heard your voice. Oh, everybody said that. Yeah, so what can we do for you, champion? Well, firstly, I wanted to say happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Terence was uh, torn between wearing his birthday suit for you or dressing up as a big candle so you could blow him out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, thank God that's not FaceTime. Put it that way. Um, <laughs> or time on your face. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that the boat ramp, boy? Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> How do you know? Yes. Picking voices. Hello, Corey. <laughs> Hello, Simon. <laughs> He's going, going gooey. Are we going to go sailing one day? Huh? Are we going to go sailing one day? Sure. <laughs> Corey hasn't got a mask, but that's I'll, I'll, I'll get my spinnaker up if you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just going. You, you behave. <laughs> Was that Spinnaker or Sphincter? <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Simon? Silver Fox, my darling. I'm going good, Simon. How's your souffle going? Are they holding up or? Uh, my souffle is uh, had any problem getting it up lately. That's no How's good. your eye? I can see good out of one now. I won't that's tell you which one. Again. Sorry? I said that's better than none. True. Mm. Unfortunately, mate, the lines are absolutely terrible. It yeah. sounds like you're in a toilet or a fishbowl. <laughs> well, I might have been at, um, at, at a bathroom at the nightclub. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit of glitter still stuck toilet. in your throat. I reckon you're at the three man or dockyard. Well, you've been there. <laughs> how's, um, how's Terence Tao going, Simon? Oh, Terence is well. He's, uh, he, he's been battening off a bit of the flu. At least I think that's what he said. He, he said he was feeding off a wog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Uh, uh, sorry. I just rang to say happy birthday. Thank you. I was going to say that must be going around because Corey does the same thing, but he usually gets it on a, on a weekly basis. <laughs> well, beating off a wog. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I had a great day. Um, it's going to be even better on the weekend if I can manage to beat the crazy ladies' pamphers, but I doubt it. Yeah, I think you've got more chance of um, growing a second or, uh, no, I won't say that, a third leg, maybe. I have a third leg. No, you don't. That's just smaller than the others. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mate, I appreciate your call and um, the birthday wishes. Uh, much appreciated. Well, we love you very much, and we wanted to make sure you felt warm and fuzzy. Oh, I do. I've I've got to be careful what I say. Corey's next to me, but yeah, no, mate, I've had a great day. You forgot to say hello to uh, Christopher. Oh, Christopher, darling, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> G'day, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? Good. 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 Off tonight, so can yeah. you hear him? Because he's very quiet. He's been it? off. He's been off with the fairies all afternoon. Can you uh, give Christopher a big kiss and cuddle for me? <laughs> I'll oh, do we'll, it on the way home. That's fine. We'll, we'll leave that to I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll cover for you, mate. Oh, by the sounds of it, he's found his. Uh... <laughs> mate. Oh, honestly, I've got to put this to bed. Some of the boys at work reckon it's me on a pre-recording. Ging up Garfield, that's, that's Simon and well, Terry. How would that work? That's what I said, and then they said I've probably put you up to it. But mate, we're going to have to get you to send a photo in of you and Terence, and um, yeah. Well, we, we don't have many appropriate ones, but I'm sure I could find one somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Might be able to Photoshop something. All right, well, well, well we're going to try and get a guest on next week, so it could be Garfield or it could be could be anyone. So uh, we'll Just see how we go. <laughs> you what, sorry? I said, just imagine a leather-clad gorilla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mate, I appreciate your call, and um, yeah, you're a big part of our show, obviously, on a... I hope I'm the biggest part. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? You, you get him there. I don't know. I don't know him very well like you do. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, yeah, mate... Have a wonderful rest of your birthday. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Bye, Simon. Oh, what a character. All right, guys, time for caller number two. Who we got there? Uh, Nicole. G'day, Nicole. How are you? Well, thank you. What's your question for us this week? Uh, my question is, uh, in, sorry, I recently attended a coaching the female athletes and seminar. And it identifies the difference in the approach of coaching and the support required for the female athlete. How do you see this as a way to promote the growth of female participation in the league? Well, first up, I reckon uh, the NRL needs to put the women's game on a more appropriate time that they're going to get people to watch it, like... Um, they're putting it on after the men's game, which it shouldn't matter, but a lot of people will go home after that. Let's put it on before the men's. So they get a lot of people there, start watching it and go, hey, this is actually good. And, you know, because a lot of, and get more involved. And I reckon, um, you know, obviously with yourself, with the Ants, with the uh, Ants Football Club going forward to, that's a good promotion for the game. Um yeah, there's a few different ways. Adam, what do you think? Um, yeah, you touched on a little bit there. I think there's got to be more. What do you like? It's the women's game's got to expand. Hundred percent. Like, like it's got to expand, and to expand, it's got to have like besides funding and everything else. Mm. But like as Nicole said, you've you go to these different seminars and they do them for for women and for men and stuff like that to promote the game. But you know, I'd. I'd and, and Nicole would tell you first. There's just there's not enough resources out there for the women's game to keep expanding how how it should. Like they mm. pour a lot into the men's game, which is which is what they do. But like the women's games, yeah. like even in our club, and we've tried as the at the end to try changing up the roster of when they go to play, and it hasn't seemed to change the number of. Um, people watching. 
Yeah, I think the local one. I mean, you... the... Sorry, go. Sorry. I think the local oh, one is are doing a great job. First or the women first, like it hasn't mm. seen to keep people there. Yep. To watch the women. Local so league arrive earlier. I think local league's a bit different. I think with the NRLW, um, which could help promote. Um, I think they need to have that on before the men's. Yeah, um, expand it more. Expand so. it and, and, you know, showcase the women's game too and say, look, this is you got, this is women's game is just as good as the men's. Yeah. You know, and get that sort of, would you say, you know, this is a men's game? Because it's not. It's yeah. for everyone now. Yeah. And I think the women hit harder than men. Well, Elsie <laughs> Elvis is <laughs> uh, hello, 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 my be. <laughs> Caitlin Johnson. But I think you guys as um, a local comp are doing yeah. a great job. I don't think you could do anything more. I think it's just a matter of time and exposure yeah. through places like us. Um, and we're, you know, we couldn't be happier to be on board with the ants and uh, going forward and pushing it through, making it bigger and bigger. But I think the NRL need to help push the game. Um, and it comes okay. back to the NRL. Well, you guys can only do so much as a, yeah. as a local club, and you're doing a tremendous job, but the NRL yeah. needs to get behind and give you a helping hand. Yeah, like it does. It starts at the grassroots, and that's. I just feel that the grassroots for the women's side is, is not as supportive of what it is as the men's side. Like, Could you do it like a, I don't know, I know you do the nine to the... Brady Pearson. Brady Pearson. Yeah. Could you do some kind of, uh, for the women only thing, um, a round robin, um, you know, sort of like you know how they do the country championship where they yeah. all get together, teams from everywhere, all over the state, come together for one mat, you know, yeah. one round, and sort of push the game that way a bit more as well. Yeah, that'd be good. Like we do the Brady Pierce, and we've got the boys and the girls, like mm. both sides. Yeah, you're probably right. That wouldn't be a a bad thing. Mm. And you know, more round robin thing could possibly be in a preseason thing. Yeah. Yeah, pre-season or even like mm. a standalone weekend thing. Yeah, um, you know where it's just play for the, you know, nighttime podcast cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can figure something out, but you know what I mean. Like just get it more, get people off their butts and um, yeah, you know, getting out and having a look at it and start the sport in them. Mm. And maybe maybe we need to get a few more ants on on the show from time to time and push it. Absolutely. So, um, one's enough at the moment. <laughs> Looking at him. <laughs> well, he's part of the furniture now, so you, he you... looks like an ant too. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you say a bloke looks like an ant, Corey? Because <laughs> he, he just can. Because <laughs> he just looks like one. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, oh, that's the that's only I can come up with. To yeah. be honest, uh, more exposure through you know, um, ring them on before the men. Mm, but that, the NRL has to. Like, yep. I find it, you know, a Sunday night, I think they've put the women on in a couple of weeks' time after the, the night's men, and I think it's like 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock on Sunday night, who can, realistically, yeah. if you work the next morning, who can stay and watch it? Exactly. And to be honest, pardon the French, it sort of pissed me off a bit because I want to watch it. Yeah. And, you know, like, start work at 5 o'clock in the morning. By the time you get home from Newcastle, yeah. back to curry you can't do it it just can't be done it should have been done okay say the night first grade play at three o'clock well they should have been on 12 or one yeah you know you can't just keep putting them off because yeah, people are going to go home after because they could have got to work yeah 100%. it's not right and to be honest i feel like the the women have got the rough end of the stick yeah we're trying to promote the game make the game bigger well let's... it'd be interesting to understand the reasoning behind it Stupidity? Can I? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <gonna> be <laughs> well, it's you know, like why would you not? I just don't understand the people that are running, running the league. Mm. Why they wouldn't go? Okay, we want the growth of the women's to, uh, to grow. Let's put it on before the men's because you know they're going to get a bumper crowd. Get them yeah. there before the men and showcase it. Look, we want it to grow. Yeah. And I tell you what, we'll we'll push and push and push on the. Uh, on the show with the uh, the ants, so um, we'll do our part. That's for sure. Well, we appreciate you. No, it's our pleasure. So, unfortunately, probably I haven't answered. We haven't answered your question too much, but um, that's a discussion piece. <laughs> yeah. it's a good one. Too. It was actually. It's uh, and and you're in the draw for caller of the week, so um, you never know. You could just win that. Oh, awesome. Anyway, thanks heaps. We appreciate your call and. Um, 
Yeah, we uh, appreciate being on board with the ants. Um, so we uh, look forward to, to the future. Well, thank you for your time. Ta. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, guys, welcome back. And um, due to Telstra, yet again, we're only going to have two um, talking schmitz tonight. So uh, the winners for Call of the Week going into the draw for the Say Zinc tattoo voucher, all the $150 cash, thanks to Say Zinc or the Nighttime Podcast, is the goal. So, um, Very good. Mm. Was your question stacked? Very Sorry? good question. Mm. It good was. Comes. It was good. You could have talked about a lot about that, but... Realistically, you know, they go, oh, like you said, it's got to start the grassroots. Yeah, it does. But when you've got a club like the Ants doing everything right, yep. there's only so much they can do. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's got to come back to, yeah, you get people like us that lend a helping hand and push it to, but the NRL's got to go, okay, let's do something better. And I don't know, do they do some kind of um, incentive program or yeah. something to, to get it going? Because realistically, the game's got to be. What, what do they play, nine rounds this year? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Not enough. No. no. Not, not enough. World. And, you know, if they go, well, you know, they, they want more money. Ooh. You can't tell me the NRL's not making trillions. They, they can afford it. Other sponsors will get involved. Yeah. I just think it's, like I said to Nicole there, when she said about who put the on, whose decision was it to put it, you know, why did they do it? Stupidity. Like, why would you? You're trying to build the game. Yeah. Get in there when there's the bulk crowd of the NRL. Yeah. I actually hope she didn't think I meant the ants. Whoever put that time on was stupid. No, no. No, no, it's the no, NRL. Yeah, NRL this, yeah, you, yeah, That's what I mean. You can only do so much. This now goes back to the NRL. Yeah, because we swap our boys and girls around. Like, we go mm. boys, girls, girls, or girls, boys, girls, or girl, oh, girl yeah. boy, and... It's, no it's back to the NRL. This is why I'm getting out of stupidity. It was because the, a lot of people will leave after the men's game, which yeah. is wrong, and that they should put it before it because people are going to get there, even if they because they'll sit there drinking and whatever. Yeah. Get into it. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Anyway. Corey. Yeah, right. So this week we got the winners of the uh, photo competition that we have up every week, and this week we have Wendy Linbury and Paige Bush. No Bush worries. Is, Bush is one of theirs. Mm. Yeah. So um, they go into the draw for the NRL, yep. which, yep. Um, which are getting closer. There's two, two of them to draw. Um, the team of your choice, just don't get a Parramatta one because mm. it probably won't work. She's a Bushy, is a Parramatta supporter. So oh, look at As I go and buy an Esky Bushy, mm. if you're listening, so um, probably will don't be. Don't forget to uh, this week, um, also when we put it up, on have a follower page. And um, what are you laughing at? Is my hair up again? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, don't forget, it's going to say to comb your hair next week. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, don't forget this week because, you know, get out to a game and uh, it could be um, in the Knights and Panthers game that we go to on the weekend. Yeah, you might see someone in a dress or someone crying. Okay. I'll be crying probably. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's be honest. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, yeah. First one. Oh, that's uh, Thursday, Thursday night. Uh, West Tigers up against the Cowboys at Leichhardt Oval. Mm, um, Tigers play well at Leichhardt. Mm, I still. I'm going the Cowboys. Mm, love the Cowboy. Um, um, the Chaps. Yeah, I can't go past the Cowboys. I'm sorry. Um yeah, oh, it's. What are you going? I'm going to get the Cowboys. You've been watching my Yeah, side. I can't get on the Tigers at the moment. I'm sorry. Um, I was leaning towards the Tigers at Leichhardt because they play well, but I think the Cows will just sneak home. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, Warriors and. Uh, Eels. Eels. Go to the Eels. Warriors. Really? Yeah, Warriors. It's over at Mount Smart. Warriors. Go Media Stadium, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Dolphins and the Roosters. Oh, well, this one's going to be a bit of a... This in Perth. In Perth. Mm. Yeah. I'll go the Roosters. Roosters. Yep. Yeah, Roosters. Roosters. I think it'd be close, but... Mm. Dolphins are fault, just fading away a little bit. Yeah. Titans and uh, Broncos. I'm going to take the Titans here, eh? Mm, Titans. Titans. Titans, Titans, Titans oh. went on last time. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Broncos, but I'm not confident. I just reckon the Titans got more to play for. Yeah. yeah. I reckon they're starting to play well under Desi yeah. now. Like they've got this system going. Four and I thought four and played really well last week too. Broncos. No, only because Reese walks it there. No. No. 
You've seen the glitter in your eye. Yeah, that's you. Gary Glitter. <laughs> Takes his clothes off that. So. Oh, Storm and Dragons. <sighs> this is a hard one. Oh, mm. this, is oh, a yeah. one. this is an easy one. <laughs> Storm. Storm. Storm 21 plus. Twenty one oh. plus. So you're you taking the bet. Twenty one plus. So what? So twenty one plus. I'll, so, go, I'll give you eighteen because I give oh, I'll give Gaz seventeen. You gave right. me sixteen. You want to give me eighteen? I'll give you eighteen. All right. What's the bet then? Work we'll it out to, next we'll week. We we'll have to work it out. All right. All right the bet is I get to choose. There no, we, we and him get to choose. Yeah, no, because yeah. I get to choose the, the loser. Yeah. <laughs> you know the loser. Well, no, the loser's going to be. So you just got gonna, eighteen. And star, I'm not getting star. a cul-de-sac. You just got eighteen star. I know, but I'm still not getting a cul-de-sac. <laughs> it's only <laughs> if you lose. If I lose, I don't get a cul-de-sac. <laughs> I know. <don't think. laughs> I bet he's had a cul-de-sac. Yeah. But I, <laughs> I reckon we'll get beat by thirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, give him twenty-five. <laughs> um, I'm, happy, I'm happy with 18. I'd be happy if we get beat by eight or less than 18, but... Oh, I'll decide for the week. Yeah. So, right. It's not a cul-de-sac. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, sharks and rabbits. Um, this one, hmm, sharks. Yeah. Jaws. Oh, no, rabbits are just... Sharks, shit. hopefully. Mm. And they lost Johnson now as well. Oh, yeah. okay. Katie Walker wasn't... Katie Walker's out of two, I think, for a week. Mm. Is he? He is. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, they, oh, yeah, that's right, because he had a hip flexor problem. He did yeah. go off at half time. Yes, yeah, Sharks by a monster. Mm, Bulldogs and Raiders, doggies, bro. Yeah. And yeah, this is at Belmore, Belmore, too. Yeah, Belmore. So. Yeah, so they'll be packing the rafters at Belmore. Sacred mm. ground. Mm. Gary. Bulldogs. Mm. And the match of the round, the Smith Oak Crazy Lady Cup, down there at uh, Blue Bet Stadium on Sunday. Go the Knights. And uh, anyway, we'll. Uh, sorry, I haven't got the up on there, so I've got to use my phone. But um, number one, Kalem Ponga. Two, Fletcher Sharp. In the centres, we've got Dane Gay Guy and Dylan Lucas. Greg Marju rounds out the other wing. Tyson Gamble at 5'8 with, yes, you've heard it, Phoenix Crosland at 7. A bit strange. Yeah, uh, Daniel Saifidi and Leo Thompson up front with Jaden Braley at hooker. Tyson Frizzell, Kai Pierce, Paul in the second row, and Adam Elliott at lock. Jack Cogger, Jacob Sofidi, Jack Heverton, and Matt Crocker on the uh, extended bench. I don't, I don't like this side. I'm sorry, it's a but very weird side. Hmm. I think our number nine should be Phoenix, and he should be staying put. Um, no disrespect to Jack Cogger, he's a wonderful guy, but our 14 should have been Will Price. Or our 6 should have been Will Price. Will Price should be in the side somewhere. Like, why is he getting, why is he dropped? Is he worried, is Adam O'Brien worried about his defence? Adam O'Brien should be worried about his job. Yeah, more <laughs> exactly. than anything. I'm sorry, I don't bag coaches and I haven't yet, but I'm looking at this side that's picked and I just can't get my head around. I could be wrong, Phoenix could come out and kill him. But when you're playing against Penrith, arguably the best team in the comp for the last five years, give or take, Four. up against Nathan Cleary and Co., you're going to throw Phoenix Crosland in at half? <laughs> like, come on. Like, serious? It's, I just don't get it. I really don't understand the logic. <sighs> yeah. Um, Jack Cogger. It's, it's like he's right. first five or six. He's, yep, it's all right. Even like Dylan Lucas, mm. like, would you put Will Price in the centres? It's an option. Dylan Lucas has been going okay, yeah. but... Um, Dylan Lucas is a good defender mm. Once and, he's got to and this, a good ball runner. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably leave Lucas, well, oh, Casey McLean, he's up against her. Mm. You know, you're going to have to all run that you all day. Um, I just think Will Price should be there somewhere. Okay, we have another issue where you go, oh, this combination yet again is not working. Um, well, who are you going to throw in the halves? Cogger? It's, mm. it, we've tried this combination before and it hasn't worked. The only combination he hasn't tried and he hasn't done is Gamble and Price. Mm. Yeah. I just, and Gamble's, I just don't un- get it. and Gamble's under a fitness cloud, isn't he? Well, apparently so. But anyway, the Broncos team. Oh, sorry, Broncos. Oh, I'm going to get killed. The Panthers <laughs> team. Um, who wants to do the Panthers? Yeah. Oh, are you doing Yeah. Oh, you can get with You can do it next week. Sure. Okay? So, uh, one Isaiah. I can't even read that. Yeah, new fella. Yeah, new fella. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wingers Turavava and Tai. Uh, centers Tago and McLean. Jerome Lulai, 5'8. Nathan Cleary, halfback. 
Louder and Lindsay Smith, front rowers. Mitch Kenny, hooker. Uh, Scott Sorensen and Liam Martin, second row. Isaiah Yo in the lock. Trent Talia. Matt Hughes. Is it Hughes in there? Eisenhuth. Eisenhuth. I can never get his name right. Mm. You have now. Liam Henry and Maverick Guy are on the bench. Now, that's a pretty good side. Mm. That is a really good side. Missing. Missing oh, mm. stop it. Mm. Fisher Harris. Gone. Uh, for a month, Dylan Edwards, but still a pretty good side. Mm. Um, I can't tip against me Knights, but I can't see it happening. Same here. How good is that Casey McLean going to be? Oh, Jeez, he scored a smashing shame. try on the weekend. Mm. So I'm taking, thinking with my heart, not my head, so I'm mm. taking the Knights. Mm. You go first, mate. Panthers by about 25. In the first half, or? <laughs> <laughs> you say Panthers, yeah. I'd say once they, they start, mm. the two uh, gates will open. If we go down there and match it with them, we could give it a fair crack. But that's the problem. We've got to come out from mm. from the get-go. Yeah, yeah. you've got to if, be physical. You've got to be physical in that first 20 minutes. And Moses, the Ada and Carl, just got Liam Martin, they're just going to keep mm. coming at you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if we don't, like Penrith, even if we get, you know, keep Penrith, um, at the same score, they're going to come at us all the game. Yeah, they don't stop. Yeah. So anyway, don't forget we're down there um, with the crew on the weekend. So just keep an eye out for us because we've got some good giveaways to give away. Um, yeah. So that's the games this week. Yeah, right. Do, do quickly do the women's. Yes, we will. Definitely. <laughs> First one's the Raiders and the Knights then at Canberra on Saturday morning. Mm. Mm. Nice call, That's going to be a pretty good game, actually, but the way the Knights play, I'm going to take the Knights. Yeah, Knights. 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 Next one, Titans and uh, Gold Coast Titans and West Tigers up at Seabus. Titans. Saturday. Oh, Hard to go past the Titans on that one. <laughs> this uh, one's going to be pretty good. Actually, yes, we'll be. Sunday, lunchtime, Allianz, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Allianz Stadium, Eels versus the Sharks. Sharks for me. Mm. Oh, a, <coughs> oh, no, they got suspended, eh? They, they well, would have got suspended for screw mm. here. Yeah, I'll take the Sharks. I'm going to take the Eels. <laughs> oh, I was tempted. I was tempted. Mm. Anyway, with Emma Tonegato, I'll, I'll, follow, I'll go follow anywhere where Emma Tonegato goes. Mm. Of course you would. <laughs> Sounds like that, Who she was that? The boat ramp? Yeah, yeah, Emma, Emma Tomago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Minion, that's Alan. He'll Minion. be there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Roosters uh, and Broncos? Uh, Roosters. 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 Yeah. Do you think Broncos have done their heyday with the. Mm. How they went that bit of a run there for a couple yeah. of years? Yeah. Yeah. Ali Brigginshaw's maybe getting a little bit on, do you think? Still yeah. playing a good footy, yeah. but what's the halfback's name? Ali Brinkshaw. No, so the, Tarrant, um, the five eight, sorry, the blonde girl, Taryn Aiken. Yeah, because she went from the Broncos to the Roosters. Mm. That's who got ragged off by yeah. Caitlin yeah. Johnson. Uh, yeah. She's been playing well. She's a, she's outstanding. Mm. Yeah, no, the Roosters, and the last one. Yeah, Cowboys versus the Dragons. Yeah. Some, here you go again, talking about nighttime games. Ten past six on a Sunday night. Mm. Yeah, so, man, what, what stupid. stupid? So, what time the men's? All right, let's have a look at it. Just your example here. When were the men's at the Cowboys game? What time's that on? Queen they play Queen. Thursday night. Men's Cowboys. Oh, mm. do they? It's all over yeah. the place, isn't it? Mm. So there you go. Well, why wasn't? Oh, because they're away. Mm. Yeah. But still, come on. If there's only a women's game, put it on a decent time for people. Sunday, 10 past 6. Mm. So if they go, oh, but ratings for TV. I'm sorry. We want to get more people at the game as well. Yeah. And put it on Fox 2 or something. Yeah. But that's just absolutely absurd. That is bullshit. This game here for the Cows and Dragons is an early contender for the Spoon. You like Spoons? Mm. Spooning. I mean, uh, mm. yeah. Are you going for Corey? Oh, well, Dragons, of course, mm. but... I think we've, um, we're we going to struggle in this NRLW season again. Oh, you never know. Yeah. It's only early days. It's only oh, first round. Right. Anyway, guys, we'll take a short break and wrap it all up. All right, guys. And, uh, yeah, that's us again for tonight. But um, thanks, guys. Pleasure. And uh, welcome back. Thanks. Good to be back. It's good mm. to be back. And Adam. 
Uh, the furniture now, mate. Thank you, Smith. Who is it? Good man. Are you new to get the name? <laughs> yeah. Jealous? No. Over a little? No. Smile if you are. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming on. As usual, mate. Pleasure. Do some good work. And we don't mean everything we say, just most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of it. He wouldn't have it any other way, <laughs> no. He loves it. But if there is people out there, right, when and do cop this sort of stuff and you are struggling with depression oh, or anything like that, please yeah. speak out. Yeah, yeah. We, we only muck around. Yeah. You know, we're just all mates here. But, <clears throat> yeah, we um we don't mean half the stuff we say. Just before. a quarter of it. No, nah, we're still fun and games here. Yeah. And big thanks to our uh, resident cameraman, Christopher. Christopher uh, Also, Portia, um, Kylie. Crazy later, lady. Without her, mate, this wouldn't go anywhere. Mm. Eliza. Sorry? Eliza. 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 Eliza, yep, on the clapper with clapper. Done and well. Anyone that I forgot to mention, Adam does a great job for us, all of our sponsors. Everyone, thank you for my birthday wishes, everything. Uh, and for my son, Cruiser, as well. So happy birthday, Cruiser. And um, yeah, don't forget, send in your photos, get out and see us at the game, and uh, go to the Knights. Oh, yeah. Want to beat the Panthers? Dreams are free. And also, the Ants, what time? Uh, where have we got the girls at Leeds League Tag are up at Clarence here on uh, 20 past 12 on Saturday, and men are at home Friday night, 7.30. Mm. So women's tackle, we've got the bye this weekend, so yeah. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> I was just looking... Anyway, um, but like you, you like the look of me, don't you? No, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, <laughs> I think you saw it in your guess. Anyway, so yeah, get out and support the ants. Um, yeah, and if not, get on board and watch. watch get, on board. get on board. Get on board. Get on board the bus and come down with us. So, yeah. um, looking forward to it. Can't wait. Mm. And uh, yeah, till next week. It's all about the league. What okay. cake is it? Do the women first or the men first? Corey would like to do the men first. Show me how to do Your pull and your pull and your swap holes. <laughs>